we hope it's what it should be. This is your boy N O R E. What up, it's DJ E F N. And this motherfucker drink chest, motherfucker yappy hour. Make some noise! When we started this show, we said we wanted to give people. Uh, they flowers while they can smell them. Right. They trees while they can hell them. They thoughts while they can think them, and they drinks while they can mm. drink them. We also want to salute uh, legends, legends, and people who've been in this game for ten years or more. Because so many people, when we when you're in this game, after you have ten years or more, they want to say you washed up or say you old. But there's people out here that's out here flourishing, like the person that we're talking about right now, from Calio Projects to Richmond, California, selling out his own his own trunk of his car, showing making other black people and other entrepreneurs successful. True independent. Laying it down. This is the first, we was coming from New York, we didn't understand. Like this guy, who is this guy? With the ice cream trucking on all this. And he kept, he's still relentless. He's still out here giving people their flowers. He was mentoring uh, from people like Nipsey Hussle to Kodak Black. He had so many artists, he dropped so many albums. I remember going broke one year, because every year, every week, the nigga dropped the album. And I was like, God damn it, what the hell, I couldn't keep up. And if, in case you don't know who I'm talking about, motherfucking Master P. Hey! By, by the way, I don't know if you know, you're one of my favorite entrepreneurs. I appreciate it. Like, uh, um, where you come from and how you orchestrated what you did. I believe we even had Baby on here, and he yeah. get, he gave it up to how much, like he had to look at you first because you was the first one to do. How did you develop like that independent mind state? Well, you know, I grew up in a project mm -hmm. with, uh, live with my grandparents. Mm -hmm. So they had 12 kids in the house. Me and my brother made 14. So it was 16 people in a three bedroom project. Ooh. And I'm like, whatever I do, I gotta make some money that we all could eat. Ooh. Like I couldn't just have no regular job. Mm -hmm. Like I never had a bed till I went to college. People don't know, even though I come from the streets. Wow. I played basketball, basketball got me to college. Came back home, hustled. After I got hurt, did what I had to do. Mm. And, and from there I said, I'd never be broke again or go back to that type of life. Wow. And I gotta get out and do something. I gotta hustle, I gotta grind. And when I got opportunity, I said, I don't wanna live like this no more on the streets. I gotta mm. do something legit. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got into the music business after watching Lil J. Right. Uh, I, people don't know I went to Houston, University of Houston, played basketball over there. Wow. And I, I seen Lil J walk in there from rap a lot, yep. Jay Prince. Jay I Prince. seen him walk in the club I was in with a mink coat on, fly. I said, man, what you do? He mink said, coat on in Houston, it's hot as hell out there. You know he getting money. You know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's for real. <laughs> exactly. so, that was, so Jay Prince was an inspiration to you. Yeah, yeah, you oh, know what, in uh, Uncle Luke, Uncle wow. Luke from, wow. Uncle Luke, Luke from Records, yeah. yeah, yeah. Skywalker. You know who's independent that, too, that's true. I, I seen yeah, that, yeah. like, them being from the South, <laughs> Everything yep. was about the West and the East Coast. Right. And I said, man, if I'm a hustle, I got to hustle for the South. Wow. And uh, nobody knew about New Orleans at that time. Right. Right. And I, and I just went hard by me living in Richmond for a little while. Right. Got a chance to see Oakland and San Francisco, seeing how they hustle in the Bay. Yeah, because they got their independent they were, spirit yeah, yeah, heavy yeah, out man, there. Man, my OG was uh, St. Charles. He fought it. Oh. Wow. So he wow. showed me the game. Wow. And when he showed me the game, I took it back to the South. Right. And, uh, you know, my homies in Richmond, man, I love them. I respect them right. for opening doors. I mean, they was, they was on the grind, man. You had, you had guys like JT, the bigger figure. Yeah. Right. You had uh, RBL Posse, had this guy <laughs> named Herm Luke that mm. really was out there, you know, with the E-40s and right. the two shorts. And I had a record store. If you don't know, I was 19 years old with a record store. Word. I didn't know it was I yours. I notes. always thought it was family member yours, but it's actually, it was yours. You yeah. opened it yourself. So I was too young to have it. Right. My, 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 people don't know, my parents was still in New Orleans. Mm. But you had to be 21, because you know, you sold the, 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 like the, the naked movies and stuff right. in the record yeah, stores yeah, yeah, back yeah. then. So I opened the store, I always tell a guy, the distributor, I say, man, look, I'm picking up the music from my daddy, so he always <laughs> give it to me, <laughs> you know? So I, I was, I made it happen from there to mm -hmm. where I did that on my own. You know, and it was a family business. It took a couple of people. You know, I had a good team. Wait, so how old are you when you opened in? Nineteen. Woo. Nineteen when I opened a record store. Come on, make some noise for that, goddammit. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I had I had everybody coming through there from Tupac right. to I mean every artist from the Bay that right. came through that store. And that was in Richmond. That was in Richmond, California. So I, I seen it when I first came to Richmond. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I seen a store called Jones and Harris, but they sold, they sold uh, R&B and gospel. And mm. I said, man, they got no hip hop in here. There's mm. nowhere. I found, I found a little spot, opened it up, and, you know, and, and went from there to where I like invest my money into it. I put, I had ten grand my, from my from my uh, grandfather settlement, mm. and just man invested back in the stove, slept in the stove till I made some money. So people always think you got to have a lot of money. Right. You don't have to have a lot of money. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had really nothing. Right. Like I went in there, did what I needed to do. Yeah, a lot of vision. A lot of vision. Like right. I every I tell people, it's the power of words. Right. So you know, my you speak negativity, negativity come. Mm. I said it was gonna be no limit to my success. I mm. named myself Master P because I'm a master of what I do. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and I'm gonna give back to my community by that, making. That's funny because that was my next question. Yeah. I was actually my first question was: yeah. Did you ever receive like flack for calling yourself master? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know, um, you know, because you, you, I get what you probably what you was coming from like the masters mm. of the. Uh, uh, um, the, the music, but you know, the word master, like, you know, when we think of that, well, we think of the slave. Now, I mean, when you Even think when I hear masters of golf, I think yeah. of slave shit. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? Well, well, you know, sometime in life, man, like I say, I just, I was looking at it as just master what I was gonna do. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. Like, whatever I do, like no matter. Master in art, like, yeah. Yeah, like, you gotta be an expert at whatever right. you do to win. People right. don't understand in business, right. you know, you have to be an expert, the ones who gonna win. Okay, so, so you, you you from Richmond, California. You, 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 you're bouncing around, but you say you're gonna start your label in New Orleans. Yeah. You say you want to go back, and yeah. now now you had Mia X, you had Kane and Abel, you had Skull Duggar, you had these people, or you. Yeah. Been, so, but the store was already called No Limit, right? Yeah, the store was called No Limit Records. Oh, okay. okay. So it was a retail store. Right. Oh. And so when I got into the music business, before priority, you're t we're talking still yeah, before, before priority. priority. Okay. It, was, it was before priority. Okay. And uh, I end up. So people don't know, like, I, I had a deal at first. They offered me a deal with Jimmy Iovine. It was a million-dollar deal. Wow. Because you was already moving records? Was that records? Interscope already? Yeah. Like, cause, so yeah. this is the beginning of Interscope. That was, that, was, that was the beginning. They had Suge and Puffy. Right. Wow. At that time, they said, wow. if you sign this deal with us, then we'll have the South, we'll have the streets. Wow. And I, and I, I was in there with C, me and C, you wow. know. C was like, take the million-dollar. I mean, you say C, you talking about C Murray? Yeah, yeah okay. my brother. Okay. He said, take the million-dollar. I say, nah, man, I'm going to go get some lunch. I told, I told Jimmy Iovine, I'm going to go get some lunch. I come back. He said, if you don't come back, you'll never get a deal in this town. So I left. Me and C on the plane, about to fight. We on Southwest Airlines. I ain't I was, got no I was curious. What, 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 what did you eat for lunch? What did you eat for lunch? Pe peanuts <laughs> and, and a Coke. Oh, That's okay. what I had. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm next, I'm, I'm next to C, and he, he mad because he won't take the money. Let's go nah, take over the price. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro. If this white man offered me a million dollars, he don't know me. How much you think I'm worth? Yeah, wow. exactly. 10, 20, 30, 40, wow. 50. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's when, that's, you. that's when we wow. just got quiet and said, man, let's go on back to the project wow. and do what we got to do. Wow. And I just started selling CDs out the trunk of my car, right. moving from city to city. I, you know, I went to New York, to Chicago, yeah. to Texas, right. everywhere, you know, pushing CDs, whether it was Bloods and Crips. I mean, I went one neighborhood in Arkansas, I got a, I got a uh, blue shirt on. It's a blood neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And they said, what you doing? I said, man, look, I'm from Louisiana, dog. I'm selling CDs, $20. He said, CDs? Man, you, got, you can't come back here with that shirt. I said, man, I ain't no, bro. For real, man. <laughs> said, he said, well, how much? I said, I said, 20. I said, man, he said, man, I got 10. I said, give me 10, man. Don't shoot. <laughs> he had his gun. I said, don't shoot, bro. Give me 10. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so that's how hard I was putting up posters on my own, man. You know, right. I get it. See, I was in New York in Harlem, and uh, right. I'm putting up a poster. The yeah. dude said, man, that's you. I said, nah, man, we all look alike down south. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, because I know if I paid somebody, right. they was going to just throw my posters away. Yeah, right. Like, I couldn't compete with, like, right. a Big E or right. a Tupac. They was uh. just too big. They was uh. everywhere. Uh. So, I'm like, I had to go do this on my own. I shoot dice. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Brooklyn shooting dice, right. playing basketball. So, I beat. I beat them in basketball, make a couple of dollars, and I shoot mm -hmm. dice, and I'm back in my car, and I sell CDs mm -hmm. and head back home. Mm -hmm. So that's, a, that's really how, like, New York really start taking 
right. told of me from the South because they really wasn't listening to Southern hip hop. Yeah. But not only yeah. that, yeah. we were always, um, and I'm from New York, so I can say this, yeah. we were always running to record labels. Yeah. So it was amazing to see a person like, you know what I'm saying? And, and to hear that you had like a 70 30 or 80 20 deal with. 85 15. God damn it, let's make some noise for that. God damn it. God damn it. But you, you know, my friend Dave Weiner yeah. from Party, he, he was at Strange. I had, we signed, yeah. He signed Made It to Strange. Uh -huh. And he was telling me about when he first came across you and he had to go back to the label. He's like, yeah, we can't just give this guy a normal deal. Yeah, right. when I first seen Dave Wanda, man, I thought he was a police. He coming in the hood. <laughs> so I, I really, if I knew, dude, by the way. man, I could have been made it. Yeah. You know, two years before, he came back there and hollering at me. I called one of my boys. I said, who that is? Five boys. He was like, I don't know, man. So I said, man, he, he kept coming looking for Yo, me. Man. Dave is, well, your boy knew he was on a record label. He still no, said, we I don't know. He don't look like we a record label, dude. He he don't know. Know. He'll tell you. All right. So he come back there <laughs> trying to give me a couple of couple of years and I'm like, man, look, I finally say, man, you know, you keep coming back and who is you? Right. And he said, man, I'm from Prague and Records. I said, man, come on, man, what you? Right. I knew I was like, all right. And I told him, I said, people don't know, sometimes you gotta invest in yourself. Yeah. So right. I went to Michael Jackson, attorney. So you got to, everybody want to be in the music business, Ooh. but you need to know your business. Right. Ooh. At that time. You the business of the music. Yeah, so I went to Michael Jackson, was the highest paid entertainer at that time at 22% of record. And I said, uh, I went to his attorney and said, man, if I'm going to sit down, which is going to cost you $25,000. That's his attorney told you. That's his retainer or just to sit down? To sit down. I, I, I can't afford this nigga still. Where this nigga at? Leave this nigga alone. But go ahead, I'm sorry. So I, I give him the twenty five. Uh -huh. I went and sit down with him. He said, man, look, the only way you're going to get a deal bigger than Michael Jackson is a distribution deal. Mm. And it's an 85-15 deal. But then you're going to have to come up with about two hundred or $300,000. I said, for each man. each project? No, oh, we just oh. say that's what you need for marketing. Oh, oh, OK. If you're going to get that deal. I'm like, dude, I gave you 25000 and tell me I need two hundred to 300000 Wow. But this was probably the best twenty five grand I spent in my life. Wow. Because okay. after that, that's all I wanted. I wanted a distribution deal. Every record company that came at me said I wanted a distribution deal. And then when, when Priority came, you know, they said, if you're going to pay the marketing, Right. We're gonna give you that deal, and that's what happened. I end up, I end up making more money than the record company. Wow, wow. So, so from us in New York at the time, right? Yeah. We had heard the records, but we did, we didn't get to see the visuals. Yeah. What, what took us over was the movie. Yeah. Was, about about was it. About about it. Yeah. It was because yeah. we only heard. Yeah. Uh, how crazy the South is. Yeah. Like, we didn't really know. Like, we didn't know, no, until we seen, yeah. I'm about it, about it. Yeah. What made you even think of that? What made you say, you know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a film myself. Because you did this all on your own. Yeah. Like, Would this, that be considered the first, like, hip hop indie movie? Yeah. yeah. I believe so. Yeah. I believe this is before Streets is watching. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely I believe, before like, that. I, I, I mean, this is Crush Groove and things like that, but that wasn't independent. And yeah. it wasn't by the artist for the, like, and it himself. wasn't by the artist, so, yeah. You know. you, you, this nigga was full boo early. Yeah. This yeah. is a fact. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, how did you, what, what, what was you, sitting around watching Scarface and said, I'm going to do this shit too? So, <laughs> I, watched, I watched a lot of movies that I felt like, even now, that we don't own nothing. Mm. So, you know, at that time, I made Independent Filmmaker of the Year, and Spike Lee was like, man, P don't make no real movies. He makes street movies, but that's all we knew. Right. Shit, that's that where we come from. That was movie to us. Yeah, so, but the thing about it is nobody from the streets ever took it to say, let's show the world how real it is right. in these streets. Right. Instead of us killing each other up, let's come right. together. Right. You know, and my whole thing was, you know, I want to show my community, the hood where I come from. Right. And then one day, I want to be able to be the person if right. I do our own movies and finance it, we're going to get the bigger cut from it. Right. And one day I want to be able to, you know, be somebody that somebody can say, oh, man, that dude brought the projects, had something to do with helping I, the projects. I don't know if you know, when Bout It came out, every street in New York yeah. City was tuned the fuck in. I'm sure out here in Miami. Charlie came from the army with that video tape. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. And he you was not. like, you gotta yeah. watch this shit. I can't, it's, listen, it was this, it was, it's this and the R. Kelly tape was the most shit bootlegged in the hood. I'm just yeah. throwing it out there. I'm just yeah. being honest, my nigga. Yeah. Like, yo, about it, about, I, I definitely didn't have a real copy till later on in life. I'm just being honest. I had yeah. a bootleg. Like, yeah. But that's how ill it was. People were stealing my bootleg. Shit was, yeah. it was the first time I seen, well, we see, other than Outkast. 
other than Outkast, because you know what I'm saying. Like, you mean visually seen, like, no, like, like, like we didn't visual of the South. Like, yeah, but like, people didn't really like, like, accept. We didn't know what the fuck was going on in the South at yeah, this time. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people. Well, New York out. wasn't really never fucking with the South, except yeah. Outkast. It's, You're right. Yeah, the South was being left I'm just out. Just being yeah, honest, yeah. as a yeah. New York. I mean, at the time, the Ghetto Boys was big, mm-hmm. but they wasn't connecting right. in the East Coast. Mm. You know, they wasn't they wasn't mm. connecting. Like, I looked up to them guys to where they made great music. But it wasn't club music, right? So it was like more of the vibe, you know, the mind playing tricks on me. Right. You know what I'm saying? You Pick know, the Bushwick Bill. Um, yeah, Bushwick man. Bushwick, 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 man. You know, a lot of people. That's what I tell people all the time, man. We don't appreciate the ones that paid the way, and we don't get because, like you say, yeah. they say, "Oh, they done," but they yeah. don't know the real stuff people are doing for the community. Like right. for me, right. it's a blessing to be able to come out those projects, man, and right. to be able to be a part of rebuilding the projects. Right. So people don't know this, man, in 2009, they was trying to get rid of the Calio projects right. after Hurricane Katrina. Right. Me and a guy, I'm talking about an expert, a black guy that understand right. development of right. buildings. That's what we got to grow with this. Right. Mm-hmm. A guy named Keith Keys, he don't get the, the proper respect he need to get, but this guy helped me we raised 118 million to re- wow. rebuild the Calio project. So wow. to actually come from hip hop to, to be able to do God that. God damn it. You know? And by the way, I don't know if you know, I don't know if you know, I went to the Calio one time to, to yeah. look for you. I, for some reason I had, I thought that you guys would just be hanging out. And yeah. like, this, y'all, y'all was so hot at the time. Yeah. I went there and people, I knew I was gonna get killed because the nigga just looked at me and just looked at me. <laughs> he didn't say nothing. I said, let me get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yo, so that's crazy. You re- rebuild it, and now is it going to be like luxury homes? It's, it's, all right. it's done. Y'all see it right now, it's done. It's, get, the, it's, get out of so here. So it took us a while, so we had to do this through Hub. I know a lot of people say... Oh, so, you, they, so you're keeping the whole, like, the residence in place? Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's done. It's a, we right. did it through Hub, but uh, it was stages to raise the money to be mm. able to do this. So mm. this developer who I'm talking about from Pittsburgh, this mm. a bad dude. Mm. You know, me and, me and him as friends to be able mm. to come from the projects and grow. Because he did it in Pittsburgh with his project. Oh, wow. And he was like, P, we could do the same thing in the Cali. I said, man, we need to do this because they was trying to get rid of it. But like right. I tell people all the time, man, stop thinking about the small stuff. Right. We got to think about the big stuff that we do, that we can do if we right. make it and be successful. Like, right. nobody never gave me nothing, man. Like, right. even the drug dealers, when they was there, they all, look, man, you know how to bag up? Then right. I'll get you, you, this is how you make your bread or whatever. Right. People not gonna give you nothing. For us to be able to do this at that level right. and to rebuild this, right. it's is incredible, man. Right. Like to be honest with you, I don't I don't know if it ever been done with anybody in any hood to understand right. that right. part of the game. That'd be crazy. Like Nas go buy Queensbridge. Man, that's that, hard. guess what? You know what? Yeah, but we all need it. to come back together because now we know how to do it. Nah, it's that's it's been done. And the psychology that's behind. That's what's up. Let's make some noise for that. Project. Project. That's real. Yeah. Yeah. You, you really brought back the hood. That's hard. Yeah. That yeah. is hard. Nigga, what? nigga got to clap again for that. God damn it. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. That's hard. That is hard. That is really Man, let me so, tell you something. It felt so good to go back there and cut the ribbon to make this thing look so good. Was it good. red? Was the ribbon red? Yeah, I mean, yeah. In my mind, I felt like it was red. Yeah, I felt yeah. like I saw it. Okay. Yeah, but you know yeah. what? Yeah. To be honest with you, man, uh-huh. it's, we are uneducated. Mm. Even though we come from the streets, mm. me going to college was probably the best thing happened to me. Mm. To where I know a lot of stuff that I wouldn't do if I just made money. Because mm. anybody can get money. You lose money, get it. Mm. Come back if you're a hustler. That's how it go. Mm-hmm. My thing is, I thank the man up above for giving me a billion dollars worth of knowledge. God damn it. Make some noise for that. Let me, let me just say something. I just felt richer as he said that. As he said that, I felt rich. But let me, let me change the subject a little bit, right? Let me go, let's get into some of your rum, if you would yeah. like. Yeah, this is um, amazing. It it's amazing. amazing. I see, I see. Yeah. Um... They said that two days before Nipsey had passed away, he was mm-hmm. in the studio with you recording a record for I Got the Hook so Up. Let me, so let me, let, me, let me tell you how this happened. Nipsey is such a real dude. Me and him probably recorded over 17 songs wow. together. Like, I, I went to his hood because he was a stand-up guy. They don't make them like that. Right, rolling 60s. I call Crenshaw. a lot of artists. Mm-hmm. I'm working on I Got the Hook Up, too. Mm-hmm. You know how people, man, I'm going to do it, I'm going to get it. Right. Nips is straight, big dog, what you need? Right. Bam, so on right. here, ready to go. Right. I okay. met Nipsey Drew, Drew Lowe, a dude from Chicago. Okay. Years ago. Okay. Lowe with 1500, Raz, man, these some stand-up dudes. Right. 
ever since we built that relationship, Nipsey always asked me, man, how you do this? How you do that? And I always, man, look, go do it. Let me show you. Let me give you the, give like you the, the, the game. You can hear the respect that he has for you yeah. through his music. Yeah. But continue. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Nah, man, it was, it was a terrible loss for us. So, But we were took, you and the guys in the studio two days before no, that? No, we wasn't, in the, we wasn't in the studio two days. Uh -huh. He sent the record. As soon as I said, look, man, I need a record. Oh, okay. Bam. Wow. It, uh -huh. You just got it done. But we've been in the studio a lot together. Yeah, I've seen, I seen a, footage. Yeah, we, yes. made, we made a lot of records, but that was, like, you know, you hear some of these guys right. that act like, but talking about Nipsey, what I don't like about this situation. Okay. The hood, us killing each other. Yep. We're going to kill the people that's going to put the bread in the hood mm -hmm. and take away the main guys. Who else you going to have? You're going to kill a plug for what? Right. Because right. this man feeding families. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why are you we running got, off the off of the plug? Yeah, you we should never run off of the plug. We got to stop that. Yeah. How are we gonna grow? Right. So you got to look at too the crazy thing. Nipsey, my biggest thing was with him that I told him his his record when he was alive sold fifty two thousand copies. Now after he passed, it sold millions. Mm. Why is that? The same music. Now mm. people running around bumping the music and doing that. That ain't cool because this man had great music while he was right. alive. Right. You know, right. even B T. I love BT. I, I, I appreciate it, but you showcase this man funeral. Would you right. showcase this man birthday party right, right, right. or with his family? Let's be honest. Right. Yeah. This yeah. man probably was trying to get records on BT on the video I, I channel. You say that about Prodigy as well. So continue. Prodigy. Yeah. Like, I'm saying Bushwick. Right. I'm just saying. Yeah, we right. need all these outlets, but at least recognize we could do more. If you did that, that man probably wouldn't even been in the spot yet. But well, well it, let me tell you something, Master Pete. That is the reason why we started this. It's yeah. because you know why? We we didn't realize this, this was going to be a big platform. We didn't realize we was going to make it to television. Yeah. Yeah. We just said, you know what? Me and him, we stubborn fucking hip hop people. Yeah. And we're like, you know what? I'm mad that, you know, Daz Dillinger got 12 years in the game and people say, well, something's, you know, you know, he's he's not the guy no more. Yeah. And he's still making the same thing. And the crazy thing is from the day one we started this, all our fans kept saying, Master yo, P Master P's <laughs> preaching the same thing on his yeah. Instagram. Yeah. So this is, so I'm sorry. I, I, I'm yeah, no, but, but, but I'm, but I'm going to tell y'all, uh -huh. that's the importance of what we got to do. We got to celebrate positive right. things. Right. Because yeah. you think about it, after you get so far, you're going to go out and do negative stuff because nobody <laughs> see the negative. Mm -hmm. the, they see the negative, don't see mm -hmm. the positive. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what I tell my son. I say, Romeo, bro, the best thing that you could do right. is being straight and doing what you got to do. Mm. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come back. Mm. Don't worry about this other stuff. You're going to be big as anything in the world right. because you're doing right. right. You know, even though the system don't want to show like, because if you're in the hood and you right. knew, I ain't got to be a drug dealer. I right. could go make money the right way. You gonna go do it the right way. Gonna last but if that's and you and you're gonna last longer, right. you're gonna live longer, cause you do it the wrong way, you're gonna end up dead or in the penitentiary. Right. You know, some of us got lucky and escaped a lot of this. But everybody you know I got my brother dead, I got a brother dead and a brother in the penitentiary, so it, it's real. Right. Rest in peace, Kev, right? Yeah. Kev. Yeah. Um where was you at when you got the Nipsey um um Nipsey news? Man, I was I was I was uh filming. And it just hit me because I got the hook up too. Yeah, okay. I was filming. I was filming some uh, in Cali. Yeah, I yeah. was in Cali. So you know, people don't know my basketball team is in that same neighborhood. So I've been having a basketball team for 19 years in that community. What? Yeah, I do. Oh. I had uh, Brandon Jennings, Demar Derozan, and when they was in the seventh grade, they come oh. through my program. Yeah. So oh. uh, that same hood. And I, right now, I got the same team. A matter of fact, my kids play for that team now. I have a son yeah. that's in the tenth grade. Right. That's that's nice in basketball, but he, right. he I, I make sure he play, you know, right. on that team, on that Cali Soldiers team. So he's there. That team we practice at Washington High School is probably one of the most dangerous places. But I always go there because right. I want them kids to see if I could make it out, y'all could make it out. Right. And in, 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 the, in the neighborhood, respect it. Same thing back at home in New Orleans. The neighborhood respect it because they know. I tell them, man. I ain't there for the streets. I'm there for the kids and the baby. I don't owe nobody right. else nothing. Right. But I'm gonna right. come there for them kids in in the in, in the elderly. So you know, that's that's we've been doing that for 19 years, man. We got a a couple guys in the NBA right now. But did you think it was like a rumor when you heard like he got shot? His own hook. Yeah. So let me let me tell you something. What's what's crazy? Long as long as I've been knowing Nipsey. Uh, uh, I didn't even know he had a brother. His brother. Um, the, like, damn yeah. near a twin. Yeah. Damn near a twin. Yeah. I didn't even, to be honest, I didn't know it until after he passed. Man, you know, yeah. man, and, and uh, Black Sam really been holding it down for the family, man. Right. And uh, that's when I finally said, yeah, man, 
Lowe was like, man, you got to holler at Black Sam, man. You know, this mm. shit real. Because I asked Lowe, I hit Lowe, he was like, man, that, yeah, this shit real, though. Why? And, uh, man, it's crazy how that just, it, it, it really tore something out of me. Yeah, me too. Because this dude, you know, I'm up close hands with him. And, like, and you, you felt how pure he was. Yeah. Oh, no, he, I'm telling you, man, when this man, so let me tell you how, how Nipsey is, right? So we had just did that uh, Rap Niggas remix. Mm -hmm. And uh, me, Boosie, uh, Jeezy, and I think uh, Jay-Z was supposed to be on it. Right. And so we, we, we just did that. We was about to shoot that video, you know, pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just was, it's just like, damn, bro. Mm -hmm. Always the good ones right. that's really trying to do something. Right. And it's, it's gone. You're like, well, man, maybe got shot. It'll be over. That's Get, what I thought. You know what I ain't I'm gonna saying? lie. When I first, when I first yeah. heard he got shot, I, th I thought it, it was it was that it, like he's gonna you know recover and yeah. be in the hospital. But yeah, yeah, but but it's man. But it, I ain't gonna lie, man. His death and brought so many people together. I seen Word. Bloods and Crips walk in that neighborhood and, and, that I and, never. And um, the Latinos. Oh, too. the Latinos. Let me La tell you La something, man. That the Latinos me. loved him. You right. know. They love me. They love my right. music, man. I, I I seen everybody come together because yeah, right. normally everybody was desegregated, like right. man. Yeah. Nah, Especially I ain't. in Cali too. In right. Cali, like yeah. it's real. People don't yeah, know. Yeah, that yeah. was the only show I ever went through uh, to E that I pulled up and I seen every single gang. And yeah. I, 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 I was I, I pulled out. I said, "Oh shit! All right, cool. We got to be on point." And then two minutes later, there was like it was a shooting on the other side. I said, "I knew what happened." Yeah. And I just left out because yeah. every single gang, I swear, yeah. kid you not, and they all saluted me. There yeah. was no problem. But that's what I'm saying. He brought peace. Oh man, to he, it. Brought, he brought. Let me tell you something. Did you see a lot of him and you? Because you, I, in a lot of ways, you did the same thing. And and, yeah. and um. The, but the one the, thing, the one yeah. thing I wish I could have told him. Okay. Is how you got to get away from a neighborhood from that you na live in. I was, that was my so, next question so for you. That, that, you know, for me, I'd rather know my enemies because I play defense. I'm going to right. play defense. That's just the right. way I go. You right. know what right. I'm saying? But you know when you get comfortable. Because at one time, I had got comfortable in my hood to where, you know, I know this is a safe zone for me, no matter whether. I don't wow. care where it's at. I know once I get to the hood, I'm straight. Mm -hmm. right. And you got to stop thinking like that once you get money because mm. this, this is the evilness mm. of having money being in the hood. You let your guard down. You let your guard down, but guess what? Everybody else don't have money. Right. Mm. So you cheese for the rest. Mm. That's what people don't realize. I don't care how much they know you or whatever. One time I'm in the hood, man, one of the homies said, man, why you keep coming around here? I said, what? Huh. Man, I'm, I put this on the map, I blew, but you know, oh, cool. Mm. I got it. Now I ain't carrying one, I'm carrying two now. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And this, this is Master P, Master P? <laughs> man, I, this is how I live. Because the, the jealousy <laughs> is real. Right, right. No, that's real. I ain't never asked nobody to do nothing for me. Mm. If, it, if, it, if I ain't got to do it, then it don't need to be done. Right. To be honest with you. You know, and I just think that as long as you get money, you come from the hood, it's not like how white people that have money could live. You have to know how to survive with money. As a black man, as a black coming man. from hip hop. Look, look, look at um, Chinks Drugs. You, uh, yeah. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Um, yeah. You know, it's, it's like sometimes um, Jam Master J. It's like yeah. a lot of the times the rappers get killed in their own environment. Yeah. The people are where well, they Well, because from. that's where they're most comfortable. Mm -hmm. Shit, ball players. Look at Big yeah. Poppy in Dominican Republic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, yo, Big Poppy out here smashing other niggas' girls. So I'm gonna throw that out there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that out there, man. I'm gonna throw that out there, Big Poppy. Man, shout Listen, out to my, that's yeah, my yeah. nigga. Let me tell y'all something, man. But I read that. I read but the story. But you can't shoot the man for smashing no girl, <laughs> yeah, no, this, I'm this just saying. Why, nigga, listen, that ain't even cool, Because you know bro. why? You know why, Pete? Because guess what? Now yeah. somebody else gonna smash yeah, you. Yeah, listen. That's a fact. You should have got that nigga. Yo, come on, B, you gotta have some rum. You gotta have man, some rum, look, goddamn. Man. Okay, well, let's talk about this rum. Man, let's talk about first before we get on that, I yeah. gotta shout out to my boy uh -huh. uh, in the DR, Gangsta Miller, y'all, man, the No Limit Soldiers over there, man, because. You got a DR, like. Man, I got, my, my home is holding it down. No, oh, yeah, no oh, Limit yeah. Soldiers. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Real. them niggas got guns over there. The minute they got the long guns, Pete. Trust me, I know. I, I spent $50 one day. I had a nigga just. He stood around me and say shit. He had a machine gun. I said, holy shit, this is the best $50 I ever spent in my Look, life. Let me this tell y'all something uh, about uh, over there. Uh, uh, Yo, Pete, you, you could pass for Dominican. Yeah. We're going we to let you be yeah. Dominican yeah. today. Let's make you be Dominican today. <laughs> That's a Creole in the Creole. Yeah. Man, my, my home. 
homies over there holding it down. Don't let me told you for real. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we we just they, we just did a video over there. And, uh, Santo Domingo? You went? Yeah, 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 and we brought Boosie over there, man. Oh, we got wow. some big oh, no. records over there, man. My wow. homies over there. Wow. Man, true. They holding wow. it down. Wow. So, yeah. And they coming. They the next up, man. They the next up because they going hard how we went hard. Like, right. they really want this music thing. And I, I, man, I shout them out because I'm like, man, y'all, y'all going to do something that ain't been done. Internationally, right. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm. That international money. That, Yo, dale agua, bro. You, you, you fix it. <coughs> no, shit. I don't want no water. But listen, I was, I was, listen, listen. <laughs> now we also had Snoop on here, mm -hmm. and Snoop, he broke it down. He said, "Man, he looked at us, and for some reason, like he both of his eyes looked at both of us, and I said at the same time, <laughs> yeah. he said, a lot of people was fronting, yeah, yeah, but when P, yeah, that's facts." And he said, yo, and people were scared to death of Suge. He said no one would touch him. At the peak he said, of death row. Like, you know, no, no, like when he was leaving death row, he said not a, not a soul yeah. would have a meeting. Yeah. They were scared to touch him like he had chicken pops. Yeah. But they said Master P came through like Superman. Yeah. Black Superman, in my opinion. Yeah. You had a black cape. Yeah. In my opinion, did you have a purple one like Prince? Nah, man. All right. <laughs> but I know you had a cape on. You know like, what? I'm, I'm a man of God, and I yeah. realize you don't need to fear no man but God. Mm. Mm. That's it. So when, when we did that deal, people don't know, I went to visit. Sure was in prison at the time. Mm. I went to visit him in prison. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's stop right there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't think I've ever heard that part. Yeah, Snoop, said that. Snoop said that on, on the podcast? Yeah. Oh, shit, my bad. Let's keep going. Yeah. All right. So I went to sit down with him. And no, I no, Snoop didn't say that. He was in prison. Okay, yeah, all right, go ahead, continue. I thought so, Snoop believe, said he I did. I believe Dream Chance Okay, go ahead, go ahead. So he, uh, he had some deals for Snoop on the table. Mm. You know me, I'm a country boy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, look, do my money spent? How much, you got, how much they going to give you? He said, he told me the number. Yeah. I said, well, I'm going to give you 300 thousand more than whatever the deal you got mm. on the table Woo. and that's what we did in the prison so you signed suge like he signed pop you mean snoop well it wasn't you know what I'm saying? It, like, wasn't, it wasn't like that it was like suge was, in, oh, okay. suge was in prison right and uh and so i was did, like, what i'm saying you did with suge what suge did the pop i don't i don't know about that i just, nah, I just nah, was pretty much the same because you're saying suge gave you the number yeah and he owned he he owned the company at the time yeah okay because okay, okay. pox thing it was the the label was yeah. doing that yeah oh, it I, wasn't I, I, Pac dictating the number i thought it was Pac. no nah, nah, Pac needed him. that to, to to get out of that deal yeah he oh, needed, he needed okay. that to get and out he needed of jail. the money okay. to get out of jail so right? you so but at this time go ahead continue yeah so we did the deal mm -hmm. and uh i think we probably had one situation with, with you with and Row. yeah okay at, no, maybe two and after that we handled it and then we ain't had no more problem and then, i i, I want to get right back to that let me, let me tell you let me tell you the craziest <laughs> I thing you one time. Something. i'll tell you the, <laughs> we'll, we'll get back into that let me tell you the craziest thing one time this is when i knew like black companies is powerful i forget who it was was it jimmy Iovine or leo Combs? But we, I was meeting them in Vegas, and I met with them, and, he, and they said, yo, did you just see how No Limit Records walked through? And I said, and I said no, I didn't see them. Cause I, yeah. And it was, he said, there was 24. Everyone with a diamond Rolex on. It's the first <laughs> time I ever seen it. And like, this company was like, great. Like, no one seen that yeah. before. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, well, my thing, my thing is with us, man, is about making show your team uh, eat mm, and straight. Mm. You know, now, after a while where people don't manage their money, that's mm. on them. Right. You know what mm. I'm saying? You can but set I, them up, I want, but you can't carry man, all I, hand. Man, I want my people to be straight. I want them looking right. good. But if you gonna go just blow all your money in a strip club, but like you're gonna get on Like 50 out here letting everybody money. Yeah, I don't you know if you see that. Oh, like, man. 50, <laughs> out here, 50 out here being a, a mortgage loan broker or something. I don't know what he's doing right now. Man, 50 something, <laughs> man. I, I remember, you know, I, I did 51st tour. People don't know that. Mm. So I, when 51st got in the game, he'll tell you, mm. I, I paid for his tour. Mm. Yeah, that's that's when that first record that was hot that he put. Wow. So I in ran the club? 
Yeah, I ran him through the South, through everywhere. Like, wow. Like, yeah, now I, I knew he was gonna be a star. Nah, that's what. Yeah. And was your first tour with Pac? Yeah. So I, so people don't realize the story with Pac. So I, as I had the store. They'll mm -hmm. come in my store and see me. Mm -hmm. They know I was about having money. So they invited me first just to come hang out. I'll, I'll go on the road, and then by the time they, you know. You don't back then. You don't get the money till you do the show or finish the right. show or whatever. Mm. So we always go shopping. They know I had bread, so I'll pay for everything. Then after the thing, they'll probably like give you me like a, everything. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. So they were like, "Man, we got to get Peter come out on the road." With, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? They want to keep the energy going. <laughs> yeah. the energy good. Yeah, so, we, right. so that's how I really started it, right. and it was like. I didn't really know I could rap, but right. I know I've been through so much, and I really lived this. I'm on the streets, right. and this is what I do. So I'm like. Right. I'm like, man, I really live this. Right. So in the stuff I was saying, you know, you it's solid, it's, it's for real. So right. I'm like, I be out there on the bus saying some of the stuff, even in my stove. So people come in the stove and be like, what album that's on? Mm -hmm. I was like, I was just saying it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that's how I really know that I could, I could do it. And so I started making little stuff and putting it out. But then, you know, I went from opening up for pop Cause they, you know, they after a while they was like, "P, you got a song now, you can open up." What was it, the Ice Cream Man? Yeah, right, right before I was doing the, the Ice Cream Man, the body, the body ice stuff. Cream yeah, man. nobody, no. people thought it was like, you got man, I'm in the West Coast with that. Right, right. right. I got gold teeth dreads. Uh, you confusing the shit out of me. It don't work. <laughs> <laughs> it don't work, dog. Right. Not the whole yeah, bait. That's how yeah, they look. Yeah, yeah. Change that. <laughs> exactly. Change that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I remember being out there, man, and I'm on the road. So they bring me out before is is the the lights the why the lights on, so the white guy always introduced me because I told him I'm from New Orleans. He said, "Mr. Peter, country singer." I said, "Dog, hold up, man." <laughs> you the first country. little Nas X. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't go down like that. I, I, I pulled him to the side. I said, "Look, bro, right. I'm really from the street, dog. I'm not no country singer. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying?" Right. So he ended up he fixed it. But man, I had I had one fan. I had one dude in the audience just singing my music, <laughs> and, and they were everybody was waiting. Man, when with pocket? Right. Oh yeah. So I, I know tell, how that is. I was like, man, I'm gonna turn that one fan into millions. Right. Mm. And that's what I ended up doing, man. I went mm. out through the audience, like twenty thousand people, and shook this man's hand and gave him a T-shirt. So people don't know my whole marketing scheme was. I had. I no appreciate you if you appreciate me. Yeah, Go ahead. that's it. Mm -hmm. So I ended up. I got every seat I hit. I put out the No Limit T-shirts. Right. I don't care if you're homeless or whatever. Every drug dealer, hustle I see with a fixed up car, I give them a free CD. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was my street team. That was my marketing. Mm. And so you got to realize you got to start small, man. I yeah, started right. small and I, was, I appreciate them for letting me open up for them. How many Shit. shows do you think you did with them? I, I did a lot. Like, I ain't, I ain't counting. I mean, they wanted me to come. Right. I, I, I don't care if I was doing shows or not. I was just right. on the bus. You was that right. guy. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. So, um, so was there any flack? I don't know. I know we spoke on that earlier. Like after you signed Snoop, like after you signed Snoop, right. like like when you came to Cali, was they like trying to like? Yeah, I got I got a phone call from Suge one time. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of prison at this point. Yeah, he was out of prison. Uh -huh. And now y'all lit. Y'all lit. Cause now yeah, you got. Lit. See, I think people thought that um, Snoop was gonna come over and that was it. But you brought you had a single with Dre on your label, mm -hmm. like with Dre, man. Yeah. Did that? Oh. That was crazy. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. So, so you got a call from Shug. Did anything like transpire from that? What, what? Well, he said, "Say Cal ain't big enough for me, him and, and uh, Puff." Oh wow, wow. Well, I say, "When you moving?" Because I just bought a house. Goddamn! Oh. <laughs> Goddamn! So um, you said you, you had that phone call. Yeah. Um, was there any worries on your behalf? Because, you know. Man, I grew up in the galley, your project. <laughs> right, right, right. Ain't nobody gonna solve press me, man. Right, right. I don't care who you is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm gonna work with you, you're another right. black man. Right. To be honest with you. So when you go back and look at Hot Boys, mm -hmm. I got a little cousin this big. Mm -hmm. We don't care about size or none of that. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, Peter, him, man. Mm -hmm. That name was for real, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, I think I probably saved half of the people in hip hop that you know. Mm -hmm. That I'm like, nah, man, let mm -hmm. these dudes make it. And that's that's the thing that I don't understand about hip hop right now. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's beef, it's beef for real. Mm -hmm. 
you know, like, and if it's not, then it's not. It's not. Like, it shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? I understand, you know, somebody might be offended that I'm moving in. I'm, I'm moving into Hollywood, man. Right. I'm not moving into your hood. Right, exactly. So you shouldn't have no problem with me. Exactly. Those white people got business on every corner. Right. Why we can't have it? Real we shit. killing each other up for nothing. Yeah. Anything I got, I'm going to... see, the, that's the shoes of Minyatis. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And you got, you got a fancy word to go with them. Minyatis. Oh, Minyatis. Oh, come that's on. The, Why we going to fuck with Balenciaga? We got Minyatis. Yeah. Come on, man. That's the Bugatti oh, shoes. Man. Come on, man. But that's what I'm saying. We don't own nothing. So I didn't right. take that note to offense when right. Shug did that. Right. I just like, maybe, maybe he don't really know me. Right. Though I figure like if you right. take right. your time and we sit down and have a conversation, you right. know. Right. You know who I am. Right. Like I, I, don't, I don't disrespect people. I say uh, if you want to get respect, you got to give it. Right. You know, it just made me feel a little different about him. Like, right. man, you know, if you want to do that, you do that in person. Right. <laughs> and then you did you ever connect with him after he came home, like face to face or no? I don't. You know, I don't think I ever seen him after that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some of my people did. Okay. But you know, I told him we good. Right. It ended there. It ended there because right. I already knew that that's right. how it go. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody don't know me. I'm, I'm a man of God. Right. But I'm a I'm gonna hold my own. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I know the devil is real. That's what people gotta realize. Right. You know, even you believe if God in God. Is real, if it, God is real, yep. you gotta know the devil is real. Right, right. So I'm I'm like, it just made me feel a different kind of way that I wouldn't have did that. I would open up. Mm. Man, come to Cali. It's enough. Rap a lot. Jay, right. all y'all come to Cali, man, right. because right. this Hollywood, this is where yeah. the money at. Yeah. Right. Hollywood, straight up. You know, like I just think if you look at this when we're talking about shoes, these companies on every cone in the same block. Yep, Nike, Adidas. New All balance. are going to going yeah. to mall. Yeah, and they ain't beefing. I, they not beefing. <laughs> right. We don't need to be doing right. that. That's what I want. That's why I never said nothing to him. I wanted to tell that to him personally when I see right. him. All right. You know? It reminds me of like because like I said, we had a bird man sitting in the same chair. Yeah. And um it was the Calio against the Magnolia or something like that. It, Magnolia man, projects. I mean people say that, but dog, you gotta imagine. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Okay. My dad lived in the Calio. That's why I lived in the Calio uh -huh. with my dad. My, my uh -huh. mom and my dad split. Mm. I went to the Calio. My brother, my sister, they went to the Magnolia. My mom lived in the Magnolia. <laughs> so I went to both. I, I, I went to both projects. Whoa. After my mama got a little job, she, she moved in the house on Pennison Street, right up the street from the Magnolia. <laughs> so I got family in the Magnolia and family in the Calio. Right. So, I mean, I really, it, it really wasn't no beefing with us. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just that. Because it reminds me of what you said, Hot Boys, earlier. And you guys had a Hot Boys. Well, my Hot Boy was a, di was a different. You, you'll, see it, you'll see it in the movie. Right, right, in, the, right. in the King of the South Ice right. Cream Man movie. You know, my, right. my cousin, man, he had a good heart. Right. But he just was, he was about that life. Right. So, you know, I almost lost my life with him. Wow. So. God well, bless. You know. Yeah, I, I, I almost, I almost lost my life with him as a kid, wow. and so uh, he ended up going to prison, and I ended up going to college. Oh, so nice. yeah, you know, and, and man, it's about you gotta want to change. Right. So I, I let people know, and you gonna see this in my movie. Right. I knew God had a way for me that mm. day. So I'm faking. I want to be like Hot Boy, my cousin. Mm -hmm. He the man back there in the project where I, where I live at. I'm shooting dice. I got like 1,500 on me. You know, mm -hmm. I'm nickel and diamond. He the man. He got about 20, 30 Gs on him. Mm -hmm. I'm in high school. This is my senior year. So all the shooters are high schoolers. Wow. Your goal is to literally be 19 at that time for me. That's what me and my brother go. My brother died at 19. My homeboys that go to school with me, Eight of them jumped out of Cutlass and said, P, you know what it is. And Hot Boy, he the man. He said, man, whatever. I threw my money up in the air. I couldn't run. Like they was trying to rob you, you saying? They, they come with it. Right. They come with it. It's right. four on each side. We're in the project shooting right. dice. You only right. can run up the steps. Right. If you run that way, they're going to shoot you in the back or whatever because right. you run, try to run through the cold way. Wow. I wanted to live. I run up the steps where it's dark. 
So I'm telling somebody, throw me my gun, throw me my gun. I start grabbing the dough rattle on the dough and I lay it down. They shoot up the dough. Bop, 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 bop. Man, shit. Wow. I come downstairs, they hit Hot Boy eight times. He's still living. I hit a car drive off. I run downstairs, jump in the car, take him to the hospital. And I, I knew like God had something else for me, but I, I, thought, I, I thought that was it. I had right. to do what I had to do. Right. I never seen him. They went to school with me, never seen him. Wow. Hot boy told me, man, go on to college. You gonna be something, you gonna be a star. First day I got to college, he caught all eight of them and he went to prison. Yes. Wow. So after that, I knew that God had a way for me that I need to change my life. And, 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 and that's when I said, I gotta do something legit, right. you know? And I, I, I believe in that man up above, man. He, he'll change your life, but you gotta change your mindset. A lot of us don't want to change our mindset. We don't want to grow. Right. We don't want to get up out these communities. Or even if you're going to stay there, right. you got to be a better person, especially if you have kids. Mm. I, I, think, I think Romeo, for me having him at 19, man, I left. I left the project. I said, man, I got a son. I'm going to Cali. Mm. And I end up in Richmond, California. Right. So because of my son, because I wanted to see him grow up and go to college. I didn't want him to live like that. All People don't know Romeo really from the gutter. So uh, all Romeo friends, uh, they monsters. Uh, <laughs> they monsters. But they ain't in Beverly Hills. They ain't like, in Beverly Hills. I'm no. talking about hanging with him. <laughs> when we go back and see, oh, okay, okay. you know, uh, they the dead or in prison. Romeo mm, friends. So mm, you know my friend mm, where they at. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that's when you, that's when you got to really start looking at the people around you and figuring out how you could change them. I right. have guys around me like now that I took from when they was young, they hang with me, like Big Court, he been around me, uh, mm. Juggy, my own Big Buys. It's like, man, I'm like, y'all gotta make changes in y'all life if y'all mm. wanna be around and for us to see our kids grow. Mm -hmm. You know, and from crazy, you know, to tweeze, it's like, bro, get your real crew and mm. you love them. You know, me and Silk, man, we brothers. We go through thick and thin. Real brothers. Me, me and C, we brothers. Right. All that right. fake stuff they be talking about, man, yeah, me nah, and C, brother. I know. Like, I put I my, I, I pay for lawyers, all these right. other people, man. I, I love you, C. Right. Well, pay for my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, me and my brother gonna get into it. We been yeah, doing yeah, that. Yeah, I used yeah. tell you, C was a wild boy. Yeah. I used to have to tie C up after I beat him up when we was little. <laughs> he gonna get a gun or a knife or something. You know what I'm saying? I had to tie him up to my protect him inside. Yo, I gotta protect my look. I gotta make sure I tie him up because till my parents come. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then we'll work it out. But I love it, man. We done, me and C them, me and C will be mad at each other yeah. and beat somebody up the next five minutes. Get right. into it like, of man, course. hold up. And that's the way it's supposed to be. C was my man. He, all, he always spoke man, out C, of Let me tell you something. Always. C wild, but C, yeah. C, C got a lot of love in his heart. Yes. yes. He got a lot of love in his heart. Y'all don't realize, man, we got a lot of good brothers, but you, you got to imagine how it, how it go on the streets when it get real, it get real. Yeah. You know, I stopped C from doing a lot of stuff, man, to where... <laughs> You know, sure. and that's why I, that's why I, a lot of people don't like to be around me, cause mm. I ain't no yes man, mm. right. even my own family. Mm. So they want me to be yeah man, do this. Yeah. You know, like back in the days, I don't know if you know what this rapper Pastor Troy. Yeah, yeah. Pastor yeah. Troy. Yeah. So remember uh, Pastor Troy? We I read it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he made that. So I don't yeah. know Pastor. I never met him. Get the fuck out. Nah. Of here. I, I, oh yeah, that I, was supposed to be. The, oh yeah, oh yeah. shit! Yeah, I totally I never forgot met that. I never okay. met him. But okay. check, check this out. What happened? Right. Okay. Greg Street called me for the radio and said... Greg Street? Yeah, the radio. Okay. It was all Atlanta, right? right? Pastor Troy's Atlanta, yeah, too, right? Yeah, Pastor Troy's Atlanta as well. Yeah. yeah, so he was like, look, P, blah, 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 I want to sit down and talk to you and wave the white flag. I said, I don't know nothing about that. I don't know right. the man. Like, you, you, make, you make records, you got to know what you're dealing with. Right. So I just said, he said, what, what can we do about it? I said, just walk on the other side of the street, you see. I'm not looking for you or not. I don't, right. That ain't me. Right. I'm a man wow. of God, but just like wow. two mountains may not meet, but two men will. Wow. You know, and that's like, man, you know, you that's know why you- That's a crazy quote, by the way. You know, I ain't gonna lie. you gotta know I, what you're doing. I clap my hands yeah, when that, I said that, the man, We don't make on, a t-shirt off that, sorry. Yeah, nah, yeah. but you gotta know what you're doing. And C, went, totally C went to a concert he had. Oh, I already know what it's going on. Oh, damn. And it, it, <laughs> it, it, it went bad. I think C probably got the wrong dude, the dude he thought was him. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, but he was on GOAT, and I said, see, it could have got real. 
Right. And all the other dudes around from Hot Boy to whoever, right. I said, they was like, what's up with this dude? I said, man, that dude a rapper. Right. Let him be a rapper. I never beefed on records. I never rapped. But you about understood nobody. what he was doing, yeah, right? Yeah, I understood what he was he, doing. He he was y'all was the hottest thing yeah. out, and he was just kind of because if you homage. actually listen to now that I'm thinking about it, you actually listen to it. He he was like going at the tank, but that was it. He was going at the yeah. actual tank. He didn't. Yeah. He was specific with his yeah. disses. But I, the thing about it, though, I think he thought I was gonna rap back with. Yeah, that's what he wanted. No, uh, that's what he wanted. In my belief. Yeah, I don't. I don't do that. Right. I've never done that. In the height of of everyone thinking. Maybe because um, uh, Birdman also denied this, but but maybe everyone, maybe it's, uh, it really was us. But in the height of you guys, both at the height of you, mm -hmm. no limit, yeah. cash money. We we looked like this is this is Tupac big all over again, yeah. but it's even more personal because this is from the same city, it's from the same town, and some of the artists is from opposite projects. It was almost like Wu Tang. Like teams. It was, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so let me, they like let, individuals. Let me, this, though, let me yeah. tell y'all something. We a couple blocks up from each other. Right. Do you think if it was beef, it that's, would have been a walk? Said. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I like them dudes, man. <laughs> right, right, I was right. happy for them. Right, right. Even though we just don't get on together, we don't get on. Yeah. Like, I don't fake it with people. If I don't right. know you, right. I ain't hang out with you. I don't do that. Right. No, that's, you know? That's so I don't, I don't do that. Like, yeah. I, dude, you see, I showed them dudes love. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I got out, shout out to Cash Money Man for doing what they got to do. Mm -hmm. I respect that they come from my hood. I want to uh, see them win. I want to uh, see them eat. That's what we saying. Uh, Why we can't be on every block like the Gucci and Versace right. and all that shit, man? It's the same car. It's cut from the same car. That's real shit. That's real shit right there. You know, but the system want to show that. Like, anyway, if you don't own your record company, what? We killing each other for what? I ain't never seen nobody beef with Jimmy Iovine and the other yeah. dudes, no, Leo yeah. Korn. Let's be honest. That's, that's what Philly Why y'all yeah. never beef with them? Right. So I tell these youngsters anyway, the money that they think in the music business now, we still living off the money we had 20 years ago. Right. Mm. I don't have to do shows. When I go do mm. shows, it's be for what I want, pay it to me. Right. right now, so I tell people, when you're in the music business, so y'all dealing with downloads and streams now, right? Mm. So how you make your money. So if you get a million downloads, a million streams at a penny, how much you have? Mm. Yeah, shit. Think about it, Nor. How much you have? I have no idea. I ain't making money on streams neither. I ain't, I ain't a stream <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Wait, what? You got $10,000. So think about it. We sold a million records. Yeah. You know how much I, I got. If I'm getting $19 a record. Right. Let's be honest. <laughs> So record, let's, be God, no, let's, let's, let's be honest. Yes. I'm saying, why are we killing each other up and you got a 360 deal? So that's $10,000 you got to split with the man who owned the company? Right. Let's be honest. Why are we killing each other up? In, 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 you, in most of the hood rappers right now, it's not going to get a million streams. Okay. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. How many no namers going to reach a million? So they're no. telling me, so that's the reason why they still live in the neighborhoods they live in. Mm. But we can fix that. We got to start by owning stuff. Mm. If we own it, the money coming to us. Mm. We don't need to do all that. You don't have to go out and sell CDs out the trunk of your car like I did. It's mm. all social media, but social media got a, is a gift and a curse. Because right. you got the haters going to shoot it down before you even get there. Yeah, you got to know how to harness you, it. You, you a work in yeah. progress, but you're going to let the haters stop you. Mm. You know, and that's what I'm saying, man. We got to know our business. We mm. don't have to go sell our soul right now. Mm. You know, and that's the thing I was trying to do with Kodak and everybody else. That was like, my next that's what, I like, no, every, I'm, I'm every, helping you. In let me the, just tell you something. This nigga's a genie. Like, every next question I was about to ask, this no, nigga but this is it but, before I ask but it. But think about it, if he yeah. would have listened to what I said, he would have been dead. Break, break it down. No, break it down no, for Break it down, down for all okay, okay, this. You, you know what we did. So this is what I want to say. Okay, yeah. So this is where the media takes stuff and because Kodak, you know, he a young dude and he might say something, but he might not say what. But I love and respect him. I want you to make it, though. Of course. I don't want you to make the mistakes I made. Right. So my thing was to him was like, look, if I go get this deal for you, old boy giving you a hundred grand right now. I know the man who own the company. I'm going to get you a meal. Mm-hmm. And you're going to give me the same percentage you giving that dude. Mm -hmm. I just want that. Just give me the same percentage. That, so, so I'm a black man. You're giving this white man the bread. But I'm just saying, I don't want your money. Right. But I'm going to help you and show you what you need to do to get more money. 
Right. And down the line, don't give me nothing. I fly you around, do whatever. But when it's time that we can make some money, let me make a little bread. Why not? That's it. Why not? But I think what people get it caught up at because they don't look at the big picture. And right. even about giving back. People right. try to come and, and divide and conquer. Because I told them at the time, I said, with the backpacks. Yeah. You know how Kodak is. I said, yeah. let's do some backpacks, do it in the community. You need to get out. This is what I, I've been doing this for 20 years. Right. But us coming together and you as a youngster, you don't have to worry about the man have to pay to get you out of jail. You're making your own bread and you're giving back to the community. Mm. So let's change that mindset. Mm. But you know, you don't see that because soon as social media gets up, they say a little part of it. Yeah, and they say and take it right. out and yeah, mix yeah, it up edited, and, yeah. and right. edit it so you never know what really happened. Right. I never asked a man for a dime. Right. Why? I gave. Right. Right. I spent 45 grand in that community where I don't even know because I gave the kids my word that right. I'm going to be there and in I'm going to help County, them. right? Yeah. yeah and so but I think what happened was the, the, the lawyer guy he had, you know, when Kodak talked, he said, yeah, big dog, I want those. It was some, some kind of backpacks. It's like jam sport. Jam sport, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the dude got backpacks for six dollars, but it's right. not jam sports. You know right. what I'm saying? But right. that's what he tells me. I got to get that for six dollars. Right. You can't get jam sports for six dollars. Mm -hmm. Now if you go to the Chinese, probably mm -hmm. the lowest you're gonna get is twenty five dollars. That's what mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell him. I said, you know what? Since we promised the kids that I'm gonna just pay for it, I right. paid the money, but I wish him well. Right. And uh, he a good dude, but at the same time, this is what the system do. They play on us while we get in trouble. So they pay our bill, get us out of jail, make them think they really with us, but you really spending your own money. Right. Right. So nah, don't nah. be afraid to audit them. So that's nah. my thing to the, to the youngsters. Don't be afraid to audit these people. Let me right. go audit them to see how real. Well, uh, the dude, well, what you need to audit me for? I'm saying, cause that's a that's that's this man business. No, you, you know, let me tell you something. I'm gonna be honest with you. What you're saying is the most genius thing ever. Right. <clears throat> but you have to be at least like in your 30s to comprehend. But that's why saying. you bring people around us to, to help you do that. Like, that's, why, that's why he should have my OGs. He should have had tell you OGs. My that, you gonna that see buys right now. The light skinned dude, that's my OG. Okay. okay. If he say sit your ass down, yeah. sit your ass down. <laughs> Till this day. Right, right. Till right. this day, because I know he gonna lead me right. So, so my, my question to you is, did Kodak have any OGs around him that you could have talked to? Because you you know that, the thing about it is like, like, like I, I, I'll give you a great example, right? Like when I first started doing Reggae Throne, I was telling these people Nora, about publishing. Nora, stop right there. Okay. Stop making excuses. No, I, I started I my business at 19. Don't right. don't say they're Damn. young or whatever. Yeah, Let's man. make this, it, the charts is on you. You got to make those decisions. Do you want to be bigger or you just want to be regular? You got somebody that know how to make hundreds of millions of dollars out of the music business. You got an expert. I show, I can show you how to get the money. You just got to use me. Yeah. So if, if you hard it, see in prison right now because he didn't listen. He didn't commit this crime. See innocent. We fighting what? for him. We shouldn't have to be fighting for him mm. if he listen. So if you won't be a man, it's like it's real, me. Pete. I'm telling you, my grandfather told me a hard head, make a soft, soft ass. ass. Yep. That's it. Straight yeah. up. You gotta go out there and do it. You know? No, you're right. You know what? You're right. I was making excuses. But yeah. the thing is, I'm trying to give, because you know what it is, um, Pete? Nora, would you be alive right now if people made excuses for you? No. Think but, about it. You might bump but, your head. Yeah, let us go bump our head. But you ain't got to bump your head if I already did it five, the, ten times. But the thing is, Pete, when we came out in the 90s, it was a lot harder for us to come out. It's a lot easier for these kids to come so out. You so you're saying this awesome. be different. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you're no. Saying so what I'm saying is they have a lot less guidance with them. So that's, yeah. that's all I'm saying. I'm not Guess making what? excuses. You think when a guy took him to jail, you think he worried about how young he is? Yeah, that's true. Let's be honest. You go into prison with everybody right. else. Right. You're going to have to, even with me or you, they yep. don't care how yep. old or how young you is. Yeah, it's right. about doing what's right. No, you're right. If you know you not a thinker, then go find you a thinker. You know what I'm saying? If you know that you don't want to do the work, then you're going to find somebody that's going to do the work for you. Right. But that's if you real. find a yes man, you're going to end up dead or in prison. Right. Yeah. To be honest, because certain things you don't need to be doing. And Especially you, if you're big. This man got hit records. He right. huge. He shouldn't be in prison. He should be should on the street. He's a star. NBA He's a star. boy is a star. He's a star. He shouldn't man. be in prison. Yeah. should be on the streets. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, and then if I come to you and say, man, I need you to do this for me, but then I'm paying him money, right. but I won't pay it to you. It's trash. That don't make no sense. It don't make no so, sense. So check this out. If a rapper come to me, the hottest rapper right now, what you think they making? 400,000 an album to put out? Right. So this is how this record company get them. I'm going to give you, no, I'm going to give you 2 million 
to do five albums. That's four hundred thousand. So, but let me or you four hundred thousand album. Yeah, album. Yeah, yeah. But if I say, look, man, I'm recoupable. Gonna give you, listen, it's recoupable. It's your <laughs> but it's recoupable. But what if I say I'm gonna give you four hundred thousand? Would you do an album for me? Man, I ain't about to do. Man, P got me for four hundred. Like, he know all the money he got. He made enough. What, what they got to do with it? Yeah, you're right, though. Damn, that's it's the same damn, shit, that's but they won't that's even. The way you just want it. I'm just you're saying. Fucking me up right now. Hey, they this don't fucking me up right now. You know, you know why? You know why? I, I, I'm gonna tell you the, the, the. I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Is he's right. Sometimes you're just hearing it from a person that's not from the same environment as you. It's, it seems like, it's like sugar. And then you hear from somebody and then you, you feel like they're in your business. That's the, that's the thing is, Why? we gotta start feeling. They in feeling, your business? That's what I'm saying. We gotta start <laughs> feeling like that. You're never gonna sit down nope. and eat with them. All right. these people I'm gonna eat with and hang with them. Like people right. tell me, why you come from the hood? I mean, how, how you keep coming back to the hood? And then, so now you got guys that live in mansions, live in the big neighborhoods that don't come back. You know why? Mm. Think about it. Then you got the ones that come, you question it. Right. Like, so who supposed to help y'all? It's lose lose. Let's be honest. Yeah. I should just stay my ass in my mansion and never come back. Right, 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 y'all be happy with that? Right, right. I could tune y'all out on social media. I got my money already. Right, 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 right. Block, block, block. You know no, what I'm that's saying? The, that's the thing is, you didn't have to like be a mentor to Kodak. You didn't have to be a mentor to to uh, Nipsey. Um, what, what what makes you? Um, I forgot the other fat boy guy. Uh, Man. Dominican Yo, Republic, the Dominicans, niggas, man. man. <laughs> Master B, I forgot me. Man. Yeah, Master B. Listen, we're going to give him a pass to you Dominican today. Listen, good. Jesus Christ, my we brother. Good, no, we hood no, niggas. No, we can't no, be no, having no, shit no, like that going nice, on, nice. my brother. Holy moly, guacamole. Yo, so I, I, I done lost my thought of questioning. I don't know what the fuck I was asking. <laughs> but um, first off, Pete. Yeah, but you saying why I come back? No, because that's the thing. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. And I'm, I'm passing right back to you. That was a big thing about people when Nipsey got yeah. murdered. It was thank you. A lot of us were sitting back and saying, even when we come and give back to the hood, yeah. sometimes, sometimes it's better to take the hood with you and get out of the hood. Yeah. Is that true or no? Well, it all depends. I mean, when you're in the hood, think about it. If you a drug dealer in the hood. Are we taking shots of peace shit? Hold on. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. yeah, yeah. If you a drug dealer in the hood, you know how to survive. Hold up a second, Paco. Yeah. When you stop <laughs> learning how to survive, then you shouldn't go back to the hood. Mm. Like Think this, about it. Like, like if you was playing defense when you was in the hood, you might as well play defense when you out yeah. the hood. God damn. You know, offense uh, gonna come. Offense will come, dog. Like, this ain't... I'm, I learned how to play defense before I now, played offense. I'm gonna get P, the ball. Let me tell you something. Again, yeah. I want you to know... Hold on, hold on. Our show is about giving our people they love now. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You're one of the biggest moguls in drink champs history and hip hop history and black people history. Black people, it got deeper. It got deep like that. And we want to salute you now. Yeah. We want to tell you who the fuck you are now. We know you know who you are, yeah. but guess what? We want to tell you because it don't take nothing away from me for big you up, my brother. Yeah. And I'm going to continue to big you up. And we appreciate you. Whether you're here or you're not here. And this is Sugar Skull Run. Quítale ese papelito ahí. This is dangerous right there. Yeah. I'm throwing it out there. I immediately want another shot. Yeah. That is it's, dangerous. It's good. Yo, I think I'm going to be And it's 900 degrees in this yeah. motherfucker. So yeah. if I want another shot of that, that's, that's bringing the Puerto Rican out of me, right? That's why I heard my cousin. Yeah. Heard my cousin back there. He know I'm Puerto Rican. He's, he's, he's Carlito, you got to try Puerto this, huh? this We're going to bring this to Puerto Rico, God yeah. damn. Yo, but there's so many businesses from like your sneaker company to your rum company, you walked in here and you said something film very- Film companies. Film companies, you yeah. walked in here and some, said, you said, hey, you got something to do with that to, um, cause you, by the way, we know we went all over Miami trying to find this. Yeah. There's nowhere to be found yeah. in Miami. We want to throw that out there. It's, it's we on, got you. So how can we, we change got, that? We got yeah, you, yeah. we're going to say, but when you, we made the request, we went, we said, holy mo, no one can find this. Yeah. But we, then we realized, this is his shit. Yeah. We're going to get this shit in every store yeah. of mine. But yeah. thing is this, you preach ownership. Yeah. So, man, let me tell y'all something. We're doing a movie. I got the hookup, too. They trying to it's stop Black us. and Blue coming back. Black and Blue is back. Oh, July 12th, his movie the theater. It's the crackhead with the white mink coming Everybody back. Everybody coming back. All right. Um, so, AJ coming back. 
AJ coming back. Boom, boom, boom. What's my man? Oh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. Yeah. Gotta call. You know, yeah. I watched that shit all day. John coming John back. Right. I call him boom, boom, boom. Uh, sorry. Big Tiny Lester coming back with nice. his with his nephew. That, Debo? That Debo Jack and oh. things with his nephew this time. Okay. Jesus. Cookie Monster. They, they I, gonna gonna I was going to hit you for a roll. I didn't know how to go about it. I'll get you in three. Give, give, give me in three. Let me tell y'all what happened with this movie. We talk about ownership. Okay. Why people need to go see this movie. And I seen the we trailer. You using real cameras. You using yeah. the Hollywood. You using yeah. Steven Spielberg cameras. Yeah, we Let's make some noise for the nigga using Steven Spielberg cameras. Yeah. Shit, shit look like Star Trek out here. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, and, shit and we, is clear. And we, and Let's we go. did this on our own, man. Mm. It was a lot of work, a lot of hard work. Me and Romeo financed the film together. First he time the police. Father, yeah, he played he, he played a detective in there. Uh -huh. This is the first time a father and son paid for a Hollywood movie like That's this dope. coming from hip hop. That's real dope. You know. <laughs> And, I, and I, I'm going I'm to tell you something. I win at basketball players, football players. You can't say we don't give opportunity. Right. Everybody, yeah, I got but you. But you made Romeo got, pay his side? Oh, Romeo paid his. God damn Romeo it. Romeo that's, that's a real father shit right there. Romeo yo, yo, my kids, you better be listening to this because you're paying your way too. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. Rome, Romeo <laughs> boss, man. We, right. we went half on this project. That's and all. We producers, executive producers of this film, and we starring in it. As wow. father and son coming from hip hop, we, that means we come a long way. Yeah. He trying to arrest you because he's a detective and you yeah, still, I'm doing you, you my still, thing. Um, still black. Yeah, you're still, I'm black. still black. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So the thing about this though, man, we gave 126 people speaking roles in this film. This is like the 2019 Harlem Night. We offered yeah. the Guinness Book of World Ooh. Records for the most speaking roles in a film. Wow. And wow. and yeah, man, and it's like. We don't own Black Panther. We went to the movie theaters. Right. We need to go to the movie theaters to see this because this is our hoods. This is a, for us. Mm. We know how to make funny for us. And we need to laugh mm. now, man. We did a lot of crying. Right. I feel like it's time for something to make us laugh. Mm. And so even at that, man, they trying to stop us. I need everybody to hit their theaters up. They trying to limit us on theaters. You right. know, we might have to put it out on VOD the same day. We, we, we trying to figure it out. That's like, all. Like same we said, day in theaters the same, and on demand. On demand. Like wow, if that's what we got to do, we're not going to let them stop us. Well, if you yeah, need us to host all. a screening, we'll do it. Yo, listen, do. we'll do whatever yeah, we, we got to do. Yeah. And just in case you ain't know that, man, listen, Master P, we are, we are the biggest supporters of you because not only of what you've done, but what you're doing right now. Yeah. Because, you know, our, our, our business is so much, what have you done lately, but you're still doing what yeah. have you done lately yeah. as, as, as a we. Every other, every time I see you out there fighting for it, and I want you to know you got support here. So yeah. when, when you want to announce your next sneaker, your next rum, your next, uh, uh, when, if, when you join in three on three, because I feel like you're going to join three on three at some point. <laughs> oh, at some point, shit. I feel like you're going to bust somebody ass. I just feel like you still got now, it. Now, man, I want to tell y'all, like, so the Toronto well, rappers. Well, you come here. Yeah, the, the I'm going to say Toronto, Toronto rappers, rappers. That's my next question. Man, These they, niggas really they, fucking they, in my in head the, right now. They, they in the championship. Nobody yeah. believes. No, you played for I, the I played Rangers. For that, I played for that Let's team. Let's make some goddamn money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you played for the Raptors and the Hornets? Or yeah, you was the Raptors and the Hornets. And the Hornets. In a yeah, real so game? I was, I, was play, I was there. You can pull it up. All right. I had One game, I had like 17. You can look it up. Like, okay. I played with Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady. was Jesus. Just, but we Jesus. was before our time. Right. You know, it was before no our Drake, time. No Drake, none of that. There was nah. no Drake. It's like the, the, yeah. like the hip-hop Bo Jackson. Yeah. You like the hip-hop Bo Jackson. Yeah. No you Tory Lanez. You had no Tory Lanez. Nah, just, but man, it was a, it was it was a just, lot of hard hey, work. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. hey comedians, uh, Canadians, yeah. Canadians. Hey, yeah. they had no Tory Lanez, no Drake. I, I went too far. Yeah. I guess to the stop. <laughs> yes to the stop. Huh? How was your deal in the NBA? It was good because the thing about it was, so what got me out the NBA, people don't realize, was my music. Mm. That's why I tell people you never know how your past will come why back. Why you had on. a 360 deal on the NBA? No, I had oh. a nah, <laughs> not like that. So look, now you. that was the part you know I was gonna get some bread. <laughs> but look, so I, I went to the GM office, right? I knew they was gonna let me go. He had the Ice Cream Man album sitting uh, on, the, on, on, on his desk. Okay, hold on. Where, what team is this? I That's with Charlotte. You. Okay, all right. That's with Charlotte. I'm up, right. I'm up in Charlotte now. The Bob Bass, the GM. He said, "Boy, you're a hell of a player." But your music is pure filth. <laughs> so oh. he, me, he, he, said, look, he said, this is a Bible built city. Yeah. Oh, it's true. I said, okay. He said, but then he asked me, he said, why are you not scared of Andy Mason? Because I'm scared of Andy Mason. You know, Andy Mason was on the team at the time. Rest in peace to Andy Mason. And, and, and Anthony Mason? Yeah, Anthony Mason. Oh, oh, Anthony Mason, he from Queens. Yeah, he, I was I on know, that team. I know that nigga man, very well. I went to basketball up, camp with that nigga. Me and him ended up being friends yeah. because okay. he, he, 
he was the man yeah, okay. at that time. You yeah. touch Adam Mason, you had a problem. Okay, you know, okay. He, yeah, he from Queens. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. He, he from the block for me. But he told me one time I was in the gym, he said, look, don't nobody touch me. You know, I'm from uptown. I mm. got to touch him. So I, I, I touched him. He said, little man, when I get in the back, I'm going to beat you down. I wait, said, wait, wait. you a tall nigga. I, don't, yeah, I can't see anybody like six, calling you a little look, man. I'm 6'4", he's 6'10". Oh, uh, I have no idea. You know I what I'm no saying? Idea. So thought, I'm the okay. prank guard on the team. And in there, you might be looking at TV looking like people small, but right, right. the other dude's 7 foot and 7'6". <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had a dude on my team 7'6 at the time. That's true. So he called me, look, little man, when we get to the back, you know his own. Wow. I stopped and I asked Coach, I said, Coach, what, whatever happened in the gym, stay in the gym. He said, yes, sir. <laughs> I said, well, let's do this right now, right here. Bro. <laughs> like, y'all ain't going to let you beat me when we get in the back. <laughs> so, he Anthony said, Mason. we get in the back. He yeah. said, man, you crazy. I like you. We end up being friends after yeah. that. So, that's was a like, real that, dude. That was a, that was a good dude, man. No, nah, that's, a, that's uh, a real dude. And he's very intimidated. I actually went to, <laughs> I, let, me just, let me just clarify what I said. I said I went to um, uh, basketball camp with him. He was the the coach of the basketball camp. I was the younger right. dude. Yeah. But, um, so we covered the cash money. We covered everything. We covered, yeah. um, let me, hold on, I got one. I got another one. I got another good one. Hold on, you want something? You got something? Yeah, I, I want to know how you discovered Beast by the Pound. <sighs> so, I was in Richmond, and I felt like my music was it was it was it was West Coast. Right. It wasn't South. So you felt that your music was West Coast yeah, at the time because you was there. Yeah, because I was there. And then uh, when I I said I got to get back home, so I went back home. Uh, I see my cousin in Dallas, Moby, and uh, I had KL and and uh, Mr. Servon hooked me and KL up. KL C up. Right. Uh, went back to the West Coast, went back to Richmond, started working on some stuff, and then I found Mia X. You know, Kel was telling me about Mia yeah. X. We went back and got Mia X. We brought her to the West Coast. You know, Mia X, she all south. She like, look, I like this, but I got to get back home because we need to put some of that New Orleans in and the she music. she could spit, man. Oh, she could spit. She yeah. was real, but she, and she, was living, she was from downtown. So people was telling me, man, you know, I'm from uptown. Right. You know, you got to go downtown to get me an ex. I said, well, well, I'm going downtown. I went downtown, <laughs> talked to her. We worked it out. And then when we got to California, Mill was like, everything good, boss, but we need, we need this music back in the South. The beats. You know, the beats. We need that bounce in there. Yeah. And then everybody, we went back home. I, I, uh, I brought a, a building back home, and we went to work. All the magic happened after that. So we, we left the West Coast, went back to the South, and we went from selling no records to selling over 100 million records. Woo! Let's make some noise for the 100 motherfucking million, goddamn. Yeah. Now, they, they produced everything, Beast by the Fuck. Yeah, at that point, yeah. 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 Jeez, so um, I, it's crazy that um, this is my next question, and you have the actual pendant on. Yeah. The first time we ever heard the Ice Cream Man, the first yeah. time we ever, now you got Jeezy the Snowman, yep. you got also have Gucci Man. Yeah. Was there ever a, a, a time you thought like, they kind of bit my shit? Nah, I used to manage <laughs> Gucci Man. I just don't talk oh, about shit. it. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Gucci Man my dude, man. Yeah. And uh, my whole thing was, when Gucci was going through his problems, you never know who gonna change, who gonna turn around. Yeah. Man, shout out to Gucci Man for shout turning out to Gucci around. Shout Gucci Man, man. goddamn it. The man turned yeah. around. Yeah, he definitely turned around. Yeah, and yes. uh, you know, the ice cream man, for me, I always looked at the, when I first came into hip hop, everything was black. Mm. The ghetto boys was dark, NWA was dark, everybody mm. wore black. Mm. And I said, I gotta be different. If I'm gonna be different, then I, I put the white dicky suit on and you know, so that's where the whole ice cream. So in that case, do you feel like Pharrell bitch your shit? Nah, man, I told like, y'all it was enough stores. <laughs> like, like, yeah, he was beef, I know, I'm just being honest. Like, I mean, and listen, I, in that case. With you, I don't care. If you can make some money off in, it, in that case, and I already made my money, go ahead, bro. To right. be honest with you, like right. it ain't no, I want another black man to be successful. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, guess what? They gonna steal it from us. Right, right, right. So, man, if you can make something, that's what I tell people all the time. Everybody think of idea. If you got one idea, then you ain't important. Right. To be honest with you, Woo. you ain't about no money if you just Woo. got one just thing. You could have multiple motherfuckers. Exactly, because guess what? When that, so people don't realize how I stay relevant. When that ain't happening, I got this happening, I got that happening, I got a thousand right. other things happening. Right. 
to where even in movies we could promote anything we want. We don't need the big companies anymore. I could promote my shoes. I could promote the room. I could and do things that, we, yeah. that we, we, we couldn't do back in the days because we never owned nothing. Right. Mm. And so I even could lift my homeboys. So mm. let me tell you, let's talk about Jeezy. You know, me and Jeezy got a record coming out. It's called mm. Gone. Mm. On, on ice, yours ice, or his? It's on mine. Ice Cream Man and Snowman. Okay. On I Got the Hook Up 2 soundtrack, you about to hear us Genius. for the first time. Genius. So we say it's going to be a cold summer. It's going to be a cold summer. Mm. So you're going to get the snowman and the ice cream. That's man. all. That's yeah. all. So That's we, all. we, man. Can you it, get Jeezy and um, Gucci Man on the record together? You think you could make that happen? Man. <laughs> I don't you think no one can, so I'm being honest. Going along with I gave you a, a long shot. I gave you a Hail Mary. You know what? You just never know. You never know, right? You never know because, you know what? I've been both of them friends. You are both of them And I tell, I tell them, you know, all your friends ain't my friend. All my friends ain't your friends. I just had mm. that same conversation with Young mm. Dog. Mm. You know, because I know your guy. I've been knowing Yo Gotti before I knew Young Dolph, but I, mm. I really like Young Dolph. Mm. We built a relationship. I would never put them together, but like Not I told like you, you don't like Young Gotti. It's I, just, like, right, right. I, you like, like I like Yo Gotti. Right. He my dude. But Young Dolph. But is, I like Young is, Dolph. It's more But I'm going to be real with him and say, look, dog, I'd never be around both of y'all at the same time because I see what y'all got going on. Uh, right. that, that's between y'all. Right. That ain't between me. Like, right. I got music to make, I got movies to make. Whoever want to work with me, y'all work with me. Right. But I'm going to get y'all the real. Right. You know what I'm saying? I wish, y'all, I wish we could change all this. We mm. live in the same communities. We don't need to be mm. doing this. And the thing about you, let me just show you the respect that you deserve. See, um, you know, growing up in the, uh, up in the hood, yeah. most of the time we don't listen to the OGs unless the OGs are still lit. Yeah. And the thing about you yeah. is not another goddamn solo yeah. hip hop, gotta say. Yeah. Well, Master B still ain't lit. That yeah. nigga, nigga, you know, we see you every year out here yeah. doing what you gotta do, looking good, yeah. posting videos in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Who By the way, that the is the haters in your neighborhood. neighborhood. Yo, so in your neighborhood. There's not damn near a soul that yeah. shouldn't listen to you. But you like, know what? It's real, though. I can relate. I keep youngsters around me. That's what people right. don't realize because. Right. I feel like I'm a coach. Mm. I'm a life coach. A coach saved my life. That's what basketball did for me. Mm. I've been a team player. It's no I and team, Crazy dog. Man. I don't want to take this with me. That's why I was trying to give it to Nipsey. I'm trying to give it to Gucci, man. Yeah. Trying to give it to Jeezy. Right. Trying to give it to Dolph. Trying to give it to Yo Gotti. Trying to give it to Kodak. I'm going right. to give it to the ones that take it. The right. ones that don't take it, I'm already going to make sure my kid's straight. Right. I got to do that off top. Romeo going to have Woo. all the game he need. Woo. That's why he where he at. He listening. I don't, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for my kids. I'm about to build a Romeo generation of all the girls down in Hollywood. Yeah. I don't know if you know. He's knocking them all down. Yeah. He's making noise. <laughs> for Romeo, for Romeo living out his life, goddamn. I be hearing about Romeo. I, I, did I say that out loud? I, maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. But uh, P, I got notes, P. I got notes. You got another one? Yeah, I got you notes. You got to hear what he said. He said trying to build generational wealth. Generational wealth. No, that's beautiful. Which is, I think, one of the most key important things that people don't understand is we got to make our kids wealthy. Wealth. We got to make the people around us wealthy. Right. Now, the ones that don't listen, dog, look, that's on them. Mm. If I give you something saying, if I give you some money and you blow it, I'm not going to keep getting I got relatives. Mm. Even dudes in the streets and dudes in my hood that's come, P, help me. First, I got to help my people first. Right. Mm. I already did what I could do for y'all. I done rebuilt the projects. Go mm. look it up. You could go back then in 2009, they didn't have social media, so nobody know about that. But if you Google it, you take your time, you say, man, I'm right. the reason y'all land in these places. Because mm. I went and found a man that showed us how to do this. Mm. And it didn't be just me. It's a team effort. Me and Bob still like that because we keep it 100 with each other. A lot of these dudes do not keep it 100. And they want you to keep it 100. Real. What's being real? Me not making it out, me dying in the project right. like Nipsey. That's real? No, right. that ain't going to happen. Me right. shooting it out with one of them that don't want to see me get what I got to do to help the kids, that's how it's going to be. Right. If I'm going to make CNN, I'm going to pop something. Right. To be honest with you, right, but right. I come in good, good, good spirit. That I come in peace. Leave me alone. I'm trying to help these kids. Right. I ain't got time. I'm trying to build stuff. I'm trying to develop. Trying to help the next generation. I'm trying to make it better than what we have. So guess what? We, you you want to kill that? We, we killed the man, that dog that was gonna help Crenshaw, 
that was going to help L.A. He was helping. He, no, yeah, he was yeah. the king of that. Yeah. But right. now people saying that he got all kind of shit put up, walls and murals. True. He, he needed streets while, while he was, he was there. Alive. Yeah. Think right? about it. But that's what we got to tell this generation, even the ones in the hood. Man, pull them little crazy ones on. Man, look. What you going, this man doing this helping y'all community. Right. What y'all, I, I got the million dollar question. The ones that's mad, what have y'all done for the community? Who did y'all give something back to? How many kids you took care of? You in the hood, destroying the hood. When you gonna wake up and say, man, okay, keep your mouth closed if you ain't got nothing positive to say. Especially if you ain't doing nothing. Cause it's easy to talk. I tell you all the time, if you hating, you ain't getting no bread. Right. People getting bread ain't hating, they happy, they smile, you see, I'm, right. I'm, I live in a mansion. I told the gangs out there in Cal, I don't have to be there by y'all, I, I come out of a mansion, man. I'm coming because I love y'all kids, I ain't coming to get y'all nothing. I'm coming to save y'all kids, I'm going to get them kids whatever they need. Real shit. And Make the some older noise people. for that. Make some noise for that. Yeah. Nah, Pete, let me just tell you something, man. I pay attention to everyone's reputation, I pay attention to everyone's and everyone is, you a stand-up person. You've always been, uh, I think you always will be. And I, 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 I'm a fan. I'm just a yeah, fan I, of what you, what you did and what, what you I what tell you people doing. all the time, nobody's perfect. I ain't perfect. Right. I made no, mistakes. No, no, no. And nobody say that. Ain't yeah. nobody though, but this is what people say. Since but since black got, men don't cheat, though. I don't know if you know that. Black men don't cheat. Charlamagne the God. We do not cheat. Don't cheat. Yeah, continue, continue, continue. <laughs> Come on, make some noise. But black men don't cheat. So what about Latinos? You are black, motherfucker. Latinos is black. <laughs> motherfucker, so, we ain't separated. So what people don't... <laughs> yeah. The thing that people don't realize, man, that we all got 24 hours. Mm. Is what you do with yours. If you spend mm. your 24 hours right, you will make some bread. You will come and out of poverty. You will... Well, I don't care how bad you're doing. Do something right. You smoking and drinking 24 hours, you yeah. ain't gonna have nothing. Think yeah. about it. You don't have no job, no business. No much. This is yeah. what the hood want us to do. They right. want you, they see you on this show, they mm. want you to come back in your hood and just, mm. you, like, dude, mm. this your job. Mm. You got the drink champs, you, but you, they, you can't go in, in New York and just sit on the porch and hang right. out we with your We have to homies. work to, to make this job. You have to work to celebrate. Right. But this, that's, that's my celebrate. block. That's my yeah. new block. That's what I'm saying. That's but you celebrate. Yes. You yes. celebrating the people that come through there. Yep. Right. So my thing is, they want you to come back home and just hang out with them. So how you gonna do anything if you or you ain't real if you ain't hanging out? See, murder the realest thing when he in prison. Yep. That's my brother. I've ain't been to nobody. visit him in the projects. Yeah, think about it. When he was C murder, okay. he was C murder. He still C murder right now. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm talking like, about like, yeah. like he was in the rap game. And I said, yeah. he said, yo, come but, see me, and I'm in the W Hotel downtown. Yeah. And he goes, uh, so I'm thinking he gonna he, see he, a real. Let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Uh, See too real for itself. That's why he where he's at. I pray for him every night. I love him. God bless but if he just yeah, yeah, man, God if he bless. just if he just listened to a little thing, right. he wouldn't be there. Cause right. it ain't see, see a see got a good heart. But mm -hmm. it's the people you bring with sometimes you got to cut the people off that you have that don't think the way you think. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If they don't think the way you think, people always say, you know, you like the people you around. Mm. And that's that's what you gotta realize. Mm. I don't care how much money you have. That ain't gonna stop you from going to prison. Right. Cause right. when when they wanted somebody in that club, they wanted C. That was the biggest ticket. Mm. They didn't care who did it. They let the dude go who did it. Now you gotta fight for your freedom. Mm. And that's what I'm saying, but he done been through this a bunch of times. And so, so the thing about this man that we gotta look at, what he's going through hopefully to save a bunch of these other kids. Cause that's what he wanna come home and do. Right. Show these kids that this ain't all what it, how many appeals is he on? Man, he on know? a lot, man. He, right. it, they, they just don't want to, the system in Louisiana, y'all know, right. it's a different kind of system, right. man. So right. even when they got no facts or whatever, they make facts. Right. You know, right. they create right. it they on, on a black man. Yeah. Think about it. This is the worst thing to be a black man in America and be 18, because it's for real for you. Right. Every time you walk out that door, I done walked out that door with a police like, put your hands on I'm like, come on, man, for real. Right. You know, and then then if they don't me know too. who you is, you in trouble. Yeah, me too. So so you got to know how to survive out here in the real world. That's why you got to have your stuff together. Mm -hmm. My grandmother told me that when she was alive, I didn't get it till she died. Right. You know, she said, you better have your shit together when you walk out this door. Mm -hmm. And you better make sure right. the people around you have their shit together because you might not be coming back home. Mm. Facts. You know, and we afraid of the truth. 
So if, if you don't want the truth, don't talk to me. Because I ain't going to tell you nothing but the truth, whether you like it or not. But you Pete, know, I'm looking at your wrist, and it looks like you have the, what DJ Khaled calls a chandelier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what's going on? That's a chandelier? <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, Yo, you've been getting a lot of money for a lot of times. And you yeah. know what? We're proud of you for yeah. that. You know yeah. what? Let's make some noise for that. Because you know what? And, and throughout your whole career, it's always been an attachment to making someone else great. Yeah. And you know, that's something that I would love to take from you. Yeah. Is I want to just keep continuing to me make someone else great. EFM make someone else great. Capone make someone else great. Yeah. Uh, Ching Bing make someone else great. Mike Booth make someone else great. And so on 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 and so on. But I've I've learned that lesson from you. Yeah. So you think about how did we you drop, did you drop 300 albums in one year? Man, I, the man is which. I make records. <laughs> I, I, I never wrote a record that pour out me. It got to pour out me. Wow. So the thing is, I tell people, you got to be able to celebrate other people's success if you want to be successful. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because hate, hate, you can't, where hate going to get you at, man? Mm. Hate going to get you nowhere. You're going to be mad, yourself. angry, dead, or in prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yourself. Like, you mm. mad at this man because he's successful. You should, and when I see a guy driving a nice car, I'm saying, damn, that's a black man? Be inspired. I could get this. Yeah. Right. I, what's up, homie? How you doing? That's right. how I be. Right. Damn. I, man, look at look, old boy. He got a, he got a biz. He got a biz. Man, right. a black man. It, right. it, it motivates me, dog. Right. Mm. These haters motivate me, too, to go hard. Mm. You know, every time you hear them, like, okay, let me go do this on them then. Right. Let me go show them this then. Mm. You know, because you really don't. And, and, and people say, why are you entertaining the haters? They need to be entertained. That's the only way they're going to change. Mm. It's a disease, man. Mm. It's a sickness. Mm. You hating because you ain't got nothing. When I was in the project, I'm like, I need to figure out how to get out, out of here, bro. Right. And help a next nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. But first, you got to figure yeah, out how you can get out. Yeah, you gotta help Think about You know you're in a bad place. Yeah. If you keep fooling yourself, oh, I live in a project, but I'm in a mansion. Hold up, right. dog. It don't make sense. Nah, it don't make <laughs> sense. I knew I ain't had no money. I'm in a project. Yeah, right. Like, I'm hungry. I, I live in there. My grandmother got 12 kids. Everybody eat before me. I'm getting leftovers. I appreciate it, but I'm like, damn, I got to change this. <laughs> I'm not going to fake it like it's all good. Yeah. You know, P, man, it's cool to be in the hood. Who? Who want to be in the hood? The people in the hood don't really want to be there. Nah, they saying no. that because they there. Hell no. Right. If they had an the opportunity to get some money, yep. they gone. Let's be honest. Yep. Right. That's real shit. Man, That's I had shit. relatives when they got a little money, whether it's an accident, whatever. Man, they changed yeah. up. Hit, hit, hit the numbers. Hit the Think numbers. About it. Hit the numbers. If one of them hit the lottery, yeah, watch. Yeah. They gonna That's switch not the lottery. The numbers. The yeah, regular little, numbers in the hood. They, like, you know, 150,000. Yeah, they out of here. Yeah, yeah. Man, let, cards, let me tell you something, dog. I got an auntie. She was cold, man. I come by. And I know she a gangster because she yeah. tell me, look here, little nigga, I need some money. I said, all right, <laughs> I, got you, I got you, auntie. I give her 10 grand, right? Look. She ain't never had 10 grand yeah, at I one time. Find, I never gave my aunt 10 grand. I'm just sorry. <laughs> he just made me feel bad poor. Can't tell you. So look, uh -huh. before I hit the freeway, mm. a couple hours later, she called me. Yeah, you know they robbed me back here, nephew. <laughs> I said, where well, you had your money at, auntie? I had it in my purse. I knew she was lying. She'd keep her money right here. In the, uh, in the, yeah. you know. uh -huh. So she said, no, I went, to the, I went to the boat and spent it. But I need some more money. The boat was that's a casino? Yeah, the yeah. casino. Like a casino. Okay. So I'm like, that's what we got to start realizing. When you get something, you never know when you're going get, to get it again. Mm. You got to make the best. That's what I did. I took that 10 I had and went turned it into a million. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Somebody give you something, you got to take, take real control and you say, act like you do. you're never going to get it back. Never. You might yeah. not. Yeah. Somebody give you something. Who, who really give you something right. in the hood? <laughs> Unless they want something. Right. Even the women out you get, <laughs> like, think about it. A woman come to you, you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to give you this, but all right, well, look, what are we talking about? In your mind, well, this thing about it, if she's bad, you're going to be, well, look, what I'm getting. What you already know when you asking that man, you already ready to give something. Right. Same way in the hood, you coming up to a dude, talking about you need something, he wants something too. Well, what you gonna do for me? Yeah. That's the God honest truth. Yeah. Stop faking like everybody gonna give you something they don't have an agenda. That's why I don't ask nobody for nothing. I'm going out there and get it. Mm. The same way them dudes did it. And sometimes if you if you taking a penitentiary chance, because you have to, go do it. But you taking a penitentiary chance and you don't have to, that's stupid. That's that ain't keeping it 100. It's Nobody won't bet. be on the block that don't, even the drug dealers I know, they don't want to be there. That's a bad bet.
Man, they want to get, why do you think people start crying when they go to prison? They want to get out of jail and be with their family. They start realizing, man, I should have hung with my family. I wouldn't be, because you don't see that. You don't appreciate it till it's gone. Yeah. Think about it. People really don't appreciate what they have till, till it's gone. You know, I done seen more people posting up Bushwick Bill now. Like, man, Bushwick Bill was out trying to do stuff. He knew what his situation was. How many people really stepped up? I'm talking well, about the people you know, that... You, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. You know what we could step up right now? Yeah. And we could show our gratitude is Scarface is running for office. Yeah. Let's help him win. Scar... I yeah. ain't gonna lie Let's to you. Let's help him win. I forget what check I city had council, coming in. City council. What right? check I had coming in. I'm endorsing it. Yeah. I, I, I didn't want to say it out yeah. loud because let's do it whatever now. check I had coming in, I'm endorsing it. And this, this to be I don't honest, know, and and Luke's Luke's always am, running for office. Am I supposed to say it so, so other people do it? Because I'm not trying to floss. But am I supposed to say it so other people do that? You okay. keep thinking everything you do is for clout because people say that. So right. what you should do? Nothing? Right. right. Everything exactly. is for clout? Do let's whatever the fuck you think is right. So just think about this. That's ill. That's ill. Let's be honest. Did the record company Atlanta stop putting Nipsey Hussle records out? No. His, his album was out an hour after they he died. They making money still. Let's be yeah. honest. Yeah. Why we ain't mad at that? Mm. But I hear rappers say, man, I don't want to put the record out yet because people might think I'm... For what? Yeah. If you did the song with him, that's what he want. Right. Put it out. Damn, Let the world damn. hear. He's self Like, what you hiding that for? This is the only way we're going to make him live, damn. his legacy live. live on, yeah. We keep worrying about what people think because social media got us thinking crazy now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Social media Man, should be a business real. if you're a boss. And if you have the right thought in mind, then never mind what the fuck anybody else is thinking. Man, look, we need to stop them letting them make all the money off us and we not doing nothing. Right. And we don't mm. even expose them. That mm. man, how you think he sold millions of records? So they should have waited over an album that came out last year. Right. Mm. And nobody said nothing about it. BET got him up there, 40 million people seeing his funeral. We can't get 10 people to watch his video when he was alive. Man, come on, man. Stop, stop that. I ain't let dog. You ain't got to never play my stuff. I don't care. I'm going to make money. I'm going to just what I say by ownership. I don't just, I'm going to tell the truth. And I like BET, but it's the truth. They need to know the yeah. truth. To be honest with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't right. wait till we gone to, to be like, oh, I'm going to put y'all on spot. Like, you don't need to play my music when I ain't here. Well, to be big honest, up to Revolt. Big up to Title. Yeah. Big up to Mass Appeal, because we out here being fully black media out there. You going, moment. you going in already on that? No, no, I'm saying, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> just, just nah, holding but it's, it's the truth though. We gotta hold them accountable. Yeah, so yeah. they say, why are we so ignorant? Because they only show negativity. They don't show mm. positive. They don't show this what we doing in here. We getting together. We ain't killing each other. Up. Having we talking. Fun. We having a conversation. We're right. having fun. Think about it. And saluting but, each other. And saluting and celebrating each other. Mm -hmm. No negativity. But if we're doing negative <laughs> stuff, oh man, we'd be front page. TMZ. Yo, T Mr. It Lee? would be. I got Think another shot yeah. of that Master P shit in me. What yeah. is it called? Whoa, whoa, Sugar Skull Rose. Sugar Skull. <laughs> pause. 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 Damn. You, you don't think like that. Come on, my brother. Oh, you do it all the time. Yo, let me tell you something. <laughs> you had an artist sign, Skull Duggery, yep. to Penalty Records. Yeah. Yo, how did you realize that you could take, a, take any artist and put them on any company? How, how did you figure that out? Cause Cause, I, did you do that before RZA or that was after Wu Tang? I, you know what, to be honest, whoever did it. Okay, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Um, my thing is, uh -huh. giving artists that would never get opportunity to be right. on a major label, right. coming from the hood, because people want real street music. And Mystical was on Jive. Mystical was on Jive. We got Mystical off of Jive. Hey, hey, Pedro's Zoom, bro. Hey, uh, what the fuck, bro? Oh, he, I thought you had yeah, it. Yeah, Latinos no respect. I'm gonna take logo. Look, P like these niggas done turned Spanish on me. <laughs> P confused. Yo, Salo, yeah. Salo, my brother. Mm. Ooh, that's just good. That's some good shit. That's just good that I yeah. know it's gonna hurt me later. Yeah. No, that's some good shit. We, we gonna keep this nah, going. Nah, but think about it though. If you, yeah. you giving all these big artists record deals. Uh -huh. Why we can't give the ones that had just real talent but just raw? Mm. That's what I looked at. I always dealt with the underdog. Same thing with the movie. If you look at a DC Young Fly and Fat Boy uh -huh. and P.O., they would never be in a big movie like this I got the hook up to. But mm. P.O. is a real star, man. DC mm. Young Fly is a real star. You're talking about P.O. the little, little, little guy. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. 
He's the bad guy yeah, in the no, movie. They stars. Yeah, yeah, he's the bad guy, and I got the hook up too. So right. you know, uh, he's Po he, ends he, he up. He's the stick up guy. Yeah, he ended up robbing a a, a, a a UPS truck filled with with, with phones. And y'all know them iPhones a thousand dollars a shot <laughs> at the time. So right. three hundred phones. That's three hundred grand. Mm. So he go in. Right. You mm. know, and everybody looking for him, and mm. you know he connected to the Colombians. And you got the Juju girl in there. Man, Juju, Juju is hot. She's in there. Um, Eric you, got, you brought back. You got Eric Kamen. Okay, yeah. all right. Big yeah. her up. Big her up. What else you got in there? Come on, come on, come on. Help me up. Who? Okay, I don't know what you said. You gotta speak up. Big girl, okay. All right, I yeah. have no idea. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. We, <laughs> we got, got man, big girl, mama. We got. Oh, she, she funny. Mm. She funny. Michael Blackman is the police. Michael Blackman. Oh, he funny as okay. shit, man. Yeah. Uh, Webby. Webby? Oh, Webby okay. he told me some shit. I see him yeah. when he got arrested. Yeah. He can't, we can't understand what the fuck he told me. Yeah. That's, that's good. So think about <laughs> it. We, Jeezy in the movie. Jeezy. What is Jeezy? Jeezy changed his life. Like, so he's selling like uh, some type of help food. He used to, he used to hustle. That's but hard. now he got a truck selling help food, and we trying that's to hard. get some roll-ups from him. Mm -hmm. He ain't got no roll-ups no more. We oh. like, man, come oh. on now. <laughs> You know, so AJ kind of going off on him, you know, blue, blue, blue after blue. He's like, man, blue. I know you ain't really changed. Right. You know, where right. the roll ups at? Right. You know, so yeah, now, nah, man, this is, but but in the movies about ownership, we own this restaurant called Big Papa's. Okay. So you Big get, Papa's? Big Papa's. It's a real restaurant. Okay. In real life. In real life in right. New Orleans, but my uncle own it. Mm. So it's like this, we're showing that we're losing the business. And, and what we have to do to come together as a family to save that restaurant. That's the movie. Is it reflecting real life, though? Yep. This the nigga story? family own everything. Yeah. Let's make some noise. This family owns everything. Give <laughs> <laughs> me that call. That's all. <laughs> so in, this, in the premiere, we t we're doing the premiere in New Orleans instead of Hollywood. Right. Yeah. We take it, we're taking about. Hollywood to New Orleans July 5th Dope. Okay. in New Orleans, doing Essence. And, you oh, know, the Essence Festival. The okay, Essence okay, Festival. We're we having a big premiere down there. Everybody coming. Mm. Uh, it's gonna be crazy. Can we do a Miami premiere? Yeah, we gonna do a yeah, uh, just do yeah, a Miami. Yeah, we, we, we got you, and in New York, we could do yeah, both. Yeah. We got you. Yeah. Yo, uh, Master P, let me just tell you something, man. Because there's so many people, like there's so many artists and so many platforms that would, you know, will big you up. You know, when you, yeah. I want to tell you, man, everything you did for hip hop, everything you brung to hip hop, everything you contributed to hip hop has to be saluted. Whether if you a New York nigga, whether you for a South nigga, whether you for a West Coast nigga, whether if you a nigga, or whether if you not even a nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you deserve this. Yeah. This is real shit. Like I just remember just listen, for, by the way, my first time in New Orleans as a grown man, I didn't even realize Latinos was there. Yeah. Because I looked yeah. at about it, about it, I said, it ain't a Latino in sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who it came. Yeah. And I look and I stood. Man, and I, Latinos in New Orleans. Yo, I had no idea. Like, <laughs> once I went to New Orleans, and I said, holy shit, there is New Orleans Spanish is not people. like the rest of the country, no, period. No, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's the melting pot. A lot of people yeah. think New York is the melting Spanish, pot. Spanish, everything. But, no, but we, I would have never thought about New Orleans. I would have never went to New Orleans. I would have never visited it if it wasn't because of your movement. But your movement is not just powerful to me. I want to just tell you how big it is. You changed people's lives. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. You literally had people living the same life as you, following the same footsteps. Yeah. You literally, just in case you didn't know, I want to tell you this face to face, man to man, eye to eye, that you are so appreciative in hip hop, and hip hop wouldn't be hip hop without you. Yeah, no, I appreciate right. that, man. That's My Listen, let me tell you something. There's so many artists from a Jeezy to a Rick Ross to a this I, I can I can name fifteen hundred yeah. people that if it wasn't for you, yeah. it wouldn't be of them. Yeah. So in case you didn't know that, I wanted to tell you that face to face, man to man, eye to eye, you appreciative. You one of the biggest legends, and you're one of the people that's super rich still. Yeah. Yeah, man, and then I, we got we yeah. got we got to listen to you. So yeah. if you tell me not to wear pink again, look, I got on pink today. I yeah. don't know why. Yeah. I tried to yeah. I tried to like yeah. like like get like yeah. impressive. Yeah. But if you tell me, okay, <laughs> yeah. not to wear any, yeah. I'm gonna listen yeah. because I know you made it to a promised land. You made yeah. it to the place that. And you know what? My job is to salute yeah. what you did, yeah. where you come from, what you're doing, 
And who the fuck you are, yeah. God damn it. Man, but that's and I, I, I enjoy that. And I enjoy it. So look, I enjoy giving my this, this is where it started, man. And I ain't finished. I got some people that I really want to take to the next level. I got a guy named King Roy out of Toledo, Ohio. I think he's the next big star. Like I got Toledo, some, Ohio? Toledo never been done before. I got, that's hard. I got that's some never girls called OSOS. Mm. Like they the next big street girl group. Mm. And uh, they got a lot of hot records. You know, the name of the group, what I like about them, say, well, what's, what OSOS stand for? They say, own some other shit. I said, that's oh, it right there. Let's go. <laughs> let, let's, let's go. Like, they really, you know, one from, one from, one from Louisville, which never been done. One from the Bay. Kentucky? Yeah. Yep, Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. One from the Bay and one from uh, New Orleans. Mm. So, Three I, of them. Yeah. So they're going yeah. at the um, young, you know, young Miami City girls in them. Oh, no, the thing about it, there's a lot of room for everybody, though. Okay. Everything, you see what I'm man. saying? That's yeah. why I keep telling y'all, look right. at this. We can put shoes all around. Everybody got a business. Yeah, we can know, stop so, acting like there's not yeah, enough room. We only going to see one group. Uh, uh, right. Think about how big Carly B was. The year before uh, yeah. that, it was Nicki Minaj. Yeah. It was, uh, you know, Mia uh, X and them all. It, it just keep going. Mia X is one of the best female yeah, rappers man, straight that up. ever straight up. fucking left. We need Mia X on the table as well. When yeah. I see, let me just say something. How much of a bigger fan of I am for Mia X. I don't know if you know. She's on Eastbound and Down on HBO. You know that? You gotta be a real Mia X fan. So let me tell you something. Mia X, Mia X is a real gangster. She, she I can was, tell. let me tell you. Oh, Home and my cousin Hot Boy, that was, that was her boyfriend. No. Uh, I had no idea. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh -huh. Mia, Mia Hart is so pure, man. Right. Like, like she, she gonna tell you what's on her mind. That's one of my right favorite or wrong. female artists. That's what I like about her. Uh -huh. Even if I'm doing shit, I'm, look, she gonna tell you. Right. And that's the type of people I want around. And that's why, you know, we, matter of fact, we're doing a reunion tour. We're doing what? a reunion, the No Limit, Me, Mystical, wow. Silk, Mia, wow. Fiend, Crazy. We're going to be starting off in Denver on mm. the August 2nd. So y'all get high as hell. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Denver, because Denver, yeah, Denver, yeah, yeah. get high as hell. You can smoke all day. <laughs> that smoke chance right there. Yeah, we got, we got the smoke chance right here. I'm smoking on Shine all day, and I've been smoking on smoke chance. It's going down. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue, sir. Yeah, man. I'm, I was just saying, like, this is the year of the females. You know, shout out to, uh, to, to City Girls, all of the, I mean. And you got even, a female group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, the girls that are out now. Oh, uh, Megan Stallion. Yeah, Megan. Stallion. Yeah. yeah. She out here. Man, wilding. she nice, man. Oh, right. uh, Juggy, who we? Who, what, Cash we, Dog. Cash Dog. Oh, Cash Dog in the movie. Yeah. Cash, Cash Dog and I got the hook too. That. That's me Cash who said Dog. it first. Y'all yeah, can't, yeah. can't get for it. Rhapsody and Sarak, and we Rhapsody. got some dope lyricists females that. out there. Yeah. But Janelle you know, we, ain't gonna, we, ain't gonna, we might miss somebody, but right. you know, yeah, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. like, for us, when I say Cash Dog, I like the way she carried herself. Right. She came on the movie set. She was uh, a lady. She was 100. Uh, she sent me a song for, she redid Mystical. Here I go. Mm. Oh, shit. Yeah. For a female, I'm like, hold up. And you Cash own dog, all the you rights. you tripping. But when I got the record, I said. And you own all the rights. Because yeah, yeah. she don't got to hit Jimmy Iovine. No, no, she, she don't good. got to hit she Ted good. Lucas. She got to hit you. She good. It, the record's nice, too. Uh. God damn it. Yeah. Let's make some noise for that. God damn it. Come on, Ching Bing. Come on, Ching Bing. Uh, you want to come over here and say something? What? Yeah, you, well, you know, right now you gotta fall back because C kind of like got in trouble for doing that, okay. putting, mm. putting, putting music out like that. So yeah. we just, yeah, like we really just, we just praying and trying to let this time go by, so he could get opportunity to to come home. So wow. yeah, we ain't, we we can't put no music out right now. Well, also, um, you know, when uh, C Murder, like you know, you know, said a couple of things about Two Chains. Yeah, I was the one that called Two Chains, and I said. No response needed. Yeah. Cannot. Now, I like, to be honest with you, man, 2 Chain is probably one of the most talented brothers. And the greatest dudes ever. Dude, but right? I wanted yeah, to reiterate that. Yeah. No, I'm a, let me tell you something. Yeah. 2 Chain, I definitely want to do some work with him. I want to do it now. Great guy. Great guy. Do something with 2 Virgo, Chain. My guy. Because he keep it 100. Mm. I mean, he does what I'm saying. Me and him and had even, an even, intimate conversation yeah, about Even like I told, see, it's like. Right. I don't care. Let that man do whatever he could do, man. Right. You can't do nothing with it right now. Right. You know, let's be honest. Real Let somebody shit. do something with it. He keeping Real your shit. legacy going. Real shit. You know, at least keeping the name out. 
well said. You know, so that's how I look at it. I don't, right. Man, let's make a positive out of it. Though. That's true. You know, true. like if that's the case, if we get mad at everybody, we got a problem, there ain't no be nobody here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Let's be honest, if you really living yeah. like that, yeah. but if you fake it, yeah, man, stop all that. You just making a whole bunch of commotion for nothing. I don't okay. I don't mind telling a dude, you stepped on my, man, I'm sorry, bro. But I'm going I'm to I'm end it like this. Yeah. Because, Master P, you've been one of the most emulated artists ever. Yeah. Like, people really literally take what you do, and you can actually see, like, that's Master P. Yeah. You've never once been, like, a little bit, like, offended? Like Never. Never. Never, man. If, I, even if you see somebody in, in them. Never. Because I never. made my money. What I need to do? If you got money, you happy. <laughs> if you, you ain't got no you money, I'm man. Fl- man, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Keep me going. Come on, everybody. Keep me going. No, that's real shit. Keep me going, yeah, though. Yeah. Like, man, to see what's happening out here right now with this generation, man, they supposed to do what they got to do, man. We got to yeah. stop. That's why I could still hang with the youngsters. Right. They know I ain't sick. What, what you going to be? Some grumpy dude because yeah. Yeah, it ain't be your grumpy. time no more. Look at Michael Jordan. Them, he ain't playing the NBA. They happy. They making money. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind sitting on the sideline watching the youngsters, man. Smoking a cigar. Go do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I did right. it. Right. I want, I, matter of fact, I want y'all to do it better than me. That's when I know right. we're going to build a generation of wealth. Right. We can't build no generation of wealth with everybody being poor. Mm. I don't know more, more to ask this That's nigga it. after this. This nigga done killed it, my nigga. Listen, let me tell you something, Master P. Let me just hold on before everybody clap. When we started this podcast, we wanted to interview people like you who've been in this game has been relevant because a lot of people use that word relevant that word relevant is a fucking foul fucking word because a person would it's a foul word relevant is because irrelevant. relevant is, is relevant to the people who's relevant to the relevancy mm-hmm. meaning if you ask soldier boy fans is master p relevant they'll say no then you ask master p's fans is soldier boy relevant they'll say hell no then you ask drink chance fans and so on and so forth. It's so true. Yeah. Relevant means nothing. Nah. It's to the people who who, who you in the in the room. Well, who you speaking put, to? And I don't and I don't focus on their world at all. But they I gonna, stay in my world, yeah, Pete. But if and you, you know put what? your trust in God, you ain't got to worry you, about that. You the motherfucking God yeah. Yeah. of my world. Yeah. And I got to beg you to fuck up. Yeah. Because you deserve it. And the shit you did, nigga. I I I wanted to go to New Orleans. Yeah. Nigga, I've never been to Jamaica, Queens at this time. Yeah. I'm from the other side of Queens. Yeah. <laughs> My goal was to go to New Orleans. Yeah. The Calio Projects. Yeah. I almost got killed. Yeah. Trying to get a Bowden Bowden verse. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make some noise for that. I'm going to throw it out there. <laughs> and I really didn't know that there's killers outside of New York to that moment. Yeah. Till a nigga said, what are you out here for? I said, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for the body body nigga. That nigga just looked at me and said. <laughs> nah, man, but we got, like you said, we got to change that mindset, man, because even I look at New Orleans a different way now that, mm-hmm. I, that I'm not there. Right. Because at that time, we was the murder capital of the world. Yeah, was the we murder had capital? 300,000 people. Chicago had 8 million. We had more murders than Chicago. That don't make sense. Like, we got to stop that because we ain't using our brain. Mm. Think about it. When we start using that, now we know we know how to get money. We don't know how to keep it, and we don't know what to do with it, mm. and we don't know how to spend it. Mm. So we have to educate ourselves on financial issues, but we have to grow. You know, people always use that word that they're in the ghetto. Mm. Man, how you get out the ghetto? You got to outthink the system, especially if you got to you got to want to change. I tell people, broke being broke is a mindset. So when we start changing our mindset and start growing. We could do it. We could build big old buildings. We could come back and rejuvenate. We could go buy stuff. You know, we could buy clothes. We could start clothing companies. You know, back then I had a dog. Like nobody, they wouldn't even they thought I was crazy. Right. Like man, you gonna Wait, make you a, a dog? A dog? The dog to make him say un dog. Oh, you know, you know I'm country dog. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. so like you yeah. could gentrify your own neighborhood exactly. basically. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And that's what this movie I got to hook up right. to is about too, man. Gentrification. And what date is that out? July 12th. July 12th, motherfuckers. If you motherfuckers ain't out there, we doing it. Yo, yo, Master P, I can't thank you enough, man. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm so blown away that you came in. 
you did what you had to do. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, honor, I man. really, and let me just tell you something. Anytime you want to promote anything, because I don't know if you understand the power of this shit, because this is hip hop controlling hip hop. It's the first yeah, show yeah. controlling hip hop. Like, we are on, like, I know the owner of every fucking person of this. Yeah. No one, no one other well, thing I'm, is. I just want to tell you this before I leave, uh, man. I'm proud of you, my brother. Ah, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you for doing brother. what you do. Yes. Continue this. Let's keep building. Yes. You know, let's not forget about the next generation. Right. And the only way we're going to keep this going is we have yep. to do it. It's us helping us. Yep. And so I'm proud of what you're doing, taking your time, bringing brothers together. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Thank I, you. I feel like everything happens in God's time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And this this is something that needed to happen. You know what I'm saying? And we sugar here. skull rum, goddammit. <laughs> this shit is fucking me up. Hey!